I'm the only one who does it. <laughs> Glad we have an English uh, teacher. Basically, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you don't know why this is hilarious, it's because Solemnity <laughs> says that players cannot get counters. And <laughs> if you can't get counters, you can't get an infect counter. If you can't get an infect counter, infect wins by beating you with Noble Hierarch? Yeah, I yeah. think so. That sounds about uh, right. I mean, it's even worse than some, you know, situations here because it's not like it makes the creatures deal damage. You can't even, it just, they don't do anything. And then in the sideboard here, he's got Moat. To really, <laughs> oh yeah, that he has the possibility. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, has in in the sideboard the ability to make it where Sean cannot win the game. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty brutal. Well, it's funny because this deck is put together to just be solid against the general field. I mean, Solemnity, beyond being a card that, for instance, combos with Dark Depths, also gives you this insane Mystic Remora interaction. So this deck is already good, but the fact that someone showed up playing Infect is just really, really good for Chad. I would think. So we'll, we'll see. Well, he does have... There's some advantages. Is What does Chad have for removal? He has two swords to plow, it looks like. Yeah, That's and it. after that, it's counter magic. Yeah. And it's not like he can... Uh, he, he's not like a storm deck that's going to go off turn one very often. Um, so that infect deck is very fast. So I could see Sean racing him before he can even... Right. Well, down. We are, Sean is definitely the beatdown in this one, though. We are good to go, so we will... We're on the bed, huh? What does that look like? That is Sean and Chad. Yeah, I was just trying to say what what was their role there. I couldn't... Get them I there. didn't see it. I don't know. I told them to resolve mulligans. <sighs> These guys cutting in on our production value. Yep. You can see Chad's got uh, a planet with quite a lot of signatures. I don't know if you can see it on there, but uh, among other things, at GP Vegas, this playmat was signed by uh, none other than Mike Tyson. He paid about $200 for that. We had uh, Chad on an episode of our podcast, Lone Star Legacy, and he, he told us the story of that. It's it was one great. of the best yeah. stories I've... Mag Magic-related stories I've heard. Good job really, on the cost uh, marketing Mike Tyson Yeah, yeah, we got to know what it. to do with There'll that. be more of that throughout the day. Um, so what's it look like here? Chad's got a, a misstep of four. She's got a Tlaring. I, 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 I don't think I've seen place. the Tyson signature. i got to ask Chad about that later. Uh, Sean, Sean that. has a Daze, which is going to... It's a very unusual card for the format, so it's going to be... He's showing it to us. It's a Wooded Foothills, a Misty Rainforest, a Daze, a Gush. I didn't catch the other three. Does looks like a Glistener Elf, see, perhaps, oh, an and a Force, okay. maybe? I was going to say, if there's no Infector, I think you got to send it back. That's... Yeah, he's not equipped to play the control game no, like a lot of other game. kind of very the kind of decks that play very small creatures and uh, so forth. What can kind handle. of sideboard uh, graveyard hate does Sean have? Sideboard graveyard hate. Well, while we are it cages, okay. I, be I believe cages it is cages because this is a little known thing about Rector is it dodges that. the way he does. He's yeah. got four cages in the sideboard. You want rest in peace, basically. You want rest Rector. in peace. Yeah. So there's Chad's got a tinker there. He's keeping and scrying. I believe that's a solemnity. It's got a demonic tutor, a probe, a misstep. That seems pretty strong. So the way uh, Rector works is it doesn't exile itself instead of going into the graveyard. It goes in the graveyard and then exiles itself. Um, I think that it would be a much better card in Legacy if not for Deathrite Shaman. Oh, for does it? Reason. It does work that way with Deathrite? You can eat it in response to the You can eat it in response to the trigger. Oh. Yep. So it says uh, when it goes in the graveyard... You so Chad starts off with a ruby and a probe, so we're going to see what we've got. It's going to be Days Gush, Jace Friends, Prodigy, Gliss, uh, Berserk. I'm not oh, sure yeah, what the blue card is. That's Jace, Gush, Days, Gliss and Ralph, Berserk, I think. Of yeah, that's, two. that's pretty strong. That's a bad hand. start. That's pretty strong. I, I will say, though, the Days is now much, much worse. Yeah. But Sean knows yeah. that he needs to close this game out relatively quickly. Yeah, we, we are playing open deck list, so yeah, you know I gotta imagine Chad's plan here is to just totally rush to Slumnity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be. Now, I didn't see the rest of Chad's hand because he's probing and he scried a Slumnity to the top, correct? Oh, he did? I think he scried a Slumnity to the top. So he's gonna probe, he's gonna draw that Slumnity, and if he has, you know, a Mana Crypt or... 
or something to accelerate it out now, he can play right around Sean's days before Sean. Well, there's a tinker, over. so if he's got another mana source... I don't see if he has more mana. He does, he he does not. Mana, yeah. It so doesn't look like it. It looks like he is going to fetch. That's kind of uncommon to... Uh, does he have a... He's got under or something? Yeah, Land Ruby. I mean, this, this day from from Sean Lord. could be pretty good. Well, Sean's days is not live right now. That's true. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a mock be pretty play. good without the uh, yeah the ruby's helpful too. So Wait, there's a ruby? Days, oh, there's good. a ruby. Yep, I didn't see the ruby up there. Yeah. Okay. Chad's thinking about a C. Uh, I, I imagine you gotta want the tundra here with the solemnity in hand. Right? I was talking to him before this started, and yeah. he was saying that he likes this build, but that the mana base is just really terrible. Yeah, I, n not to talk shit on well, he could Chad, be... but the way that this deck was built was. Land? Uh, yeah, that's a scrubland. That's a moto scrubland. The, the way this deck was built was me and him were shooting the shit at lunch. We worked together, and uh, he kept coming up with all these ideas. And said, Stop! Like I'm just gonna sketch you up a deck list and send it to you. And you should just work from there. Yeah. And then he just played that deck list, which, as it turns out, does not have Black Lotus in it. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. You know what he could be doing is playing demonic tutoring for. Did you say he doesn't have Lotus there. in it? Is he getting a Lotus? Just demonic yeah, a Lotus. Yeah. Or oh, does, just a, does a, a Mox a here is steel? fine. A uh, Mana Crypt here would also be good. But if he if he has if Black he has Lotus, solemnity, Tinker, yeah, get up, just... Life Steel, and. He oh, tutored, he for, tutored for a land. Why is he showing it to Sean? I don't know. I think He's Sean just just playing. said that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He does. He can't play it. Yeah, it's not interesting. A fetch. Huh. Interesting choice. I, I guess his plan. Slumny costs two, correct? Yeah, I think it costs three. three. White yeah, and two, right? Two and a white. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't get Black Lotus there. Yeah, if he's playing with a Lotus, wouldn't you get that? And just I, I, I know, it, yeah, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure he has no Lotus just because I forgot it when I sketched oh. up the deck. Here's a fetch from Sean and a oh, Glistener oh, Elf. Oh, I thought that was something you, that he and corrected. Glistener Elf is he's running into a misstep. Drop, yeah. And you think he dazes this? He's got it, right? Because he's... Uh, he doesn't know what... Well, the days, the days continually game. decreases in value in this game. Yeah, so, and he yeah. just he needs to end this game fast. Yeah. I don't think he can have his... Is threat yeah. yet. Especially, well, and now Sean knows Chad's on Solemnity the next turn. Oh, I guess he doesn't know that Solemnity's in hand. He doesn't he know knows that, that he's on So perhaps he should have held the days for that. Is that a Mox? Oh, so he's days proof anyway. Yeah. So there's a Tundra. Now, do you use Solemnity here, right? You don't tinker? I think you Solemnity first, and then you have Tinker. Because Sean invigorate Preserves next turn, and you can get right around. Well, you, you Solemnity yeah. because Solemnity says, I have essentially infinite turns to do the rest of the things right. I want. Yeah. Right. I don't think there's... Yeah, you also don't want to Tinker play. first and lose your Mox. If, uh, that's, that's true, too. Yeah. Now, uh, and run into another day the next yeah. time. Yeah. And we've, we've got a next door Reacher reader. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to see what Solemnity did in this matchup. I mean, I, I manually paired round one for this reason. Now, this is where Chad can just tinker, and this game is over almost immediately. Yeah. Uh, I believe he's, his bot is not Blightsteel, because I players can't Sphinx, gain tokens. I believe it's Sphinx. Oh, oh you're right! There. You're right! You can. He should be playing Darksteel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. I, it's, I'm pretty sure Sphinx, Sphinx of the Steel wins, yeah, because, Sphinx, as I said... Sphinx in the main, yeah. I sketched out this deck list, and that is my preferred... Yeah. Uh, it's a good one. That's my Sphinx preferred one, too. I like Sphinx, yeah. So there's a Sphinx of the Steel one that will yeah, close I, the game out. I don't know how Sean White has pro me. red and green. So Sean can't even do some weird Sean trick of attacking into here. it and pumping to kill the Sphinx. It's and pro even if green. he does that, this Solemnity sitting there, I don't... Oh, Sean, there's no reason to block. Sean doesn't have a main yeah. deck out to Solemnity, does he, once it resolves? Uh, he, sure. he has Beating with Noble Hierarch, which he's not going to be able to do right, faster than a Sphinx right. of the Steel wind. That's... Says the fetch. I, I got to appreciate Sean continuing to try, though. Yeah, he's putting on a show. We are... We're observing... Are we sure he uh, has no main deck out to Solemnity? I'm pretty sure. And we can pull up the deck list again. If he had um, anything, it'd be what? Like maybe an Echoing Truth also, or a Frozen Grip? But something like that, yeah. I, I doubt it. I I don't know why he would... I mean, maybe Crows and Grip wouldn't be the worst in this format, but... Are we observing uh, time limits on our rounds for this event? Or yes. We, okay. Yeah, there's the clock's right up there under the... Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was just an automatic thing. And on God damn, dude, I did a lot of work to put that thing in there. I actually <laughs> coded the shit that does the timer myself. I appreciate you, Sam. <laughs> you do a lot for the team. One of these days, I'm just going to delete the website, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. So there's a Jace Friends Prodigy. 
And uh, I Jay think Spin's Prodigy is a was, was was that a beat out yeah, of Chad? I didn't. Um. No, I think he's still. Oh no, he, he, he has must have. Yeah. JVP is still tough though because if he flips it, the Sphinx can just run right into it. Yeah. So. Yeah. He would need a way to get rid of the Sphinx as well. Yeah, I don't. Sean, I Sean must have an out. He wouldn't be. I mean, there's also the argument here that you should be doing. You should be continuing just to see what else is in the deck. Yeah. Gr granted, we are open like, deck. And Chad's deck. sitting on Force of Will, Vampiric Tutor. He. I mean, I feel like you probably end of turn Vampiric just for a blue card. Yeah. But probably recall. Recall. Yeah. So there's a gush. Sean is continuing to dig, trying to trying to fight the good fight here. I mean, I'm impressed. And if I someone don't is see off, any way for him to remove the Solemnity. Yeah, so I think Chad thinks time. that Vampiric does not put it in the, um, on top of your library, so here's a JVP uh, draw. Yeah, I don't see anything. Gets a Misty Rainforge, which is, which is nothing. Does Chad come to your Vintage events often? Uh, he comes like every other time. Yeah. Sean, I feel like, has been showing up more recently, hasn't he? I feel like I've seen him on your... Yeah, Chad will been, take two here. More. I think he thinks that he's going to put a blue card in his hand and cast the Source of Wall. I wonder if he'll also reveal it to Sean again. I mean, why would you not? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, whatever he's doing is... Just go get an abandon. Just go get an abandon hope. <laughs> so this time he does not reveal what he got. So that's That's good. Did he put it on top of his library? It's it's, it's right it's here on the plane yeah. mat. And you can't That's discount the uh, JVP's ability to uh, beat for the win, too, in this. I think when there's a Sphinx of the Steel Wind, you can. <laughs> well, you have to attack with, with a Jace and the Noble Hierarch, and then pump the... Uh, Pump the one that's not blocked to something got, like a 30 30. We've got Jace be... Telepath Unbound. Yeah. It seems, seems like a pretty narrow one. <laughs> In fact, being on a damage beats against yeah. a 6 6 lifelinker is it's, it's it's going to be an uphill battle. It's a very <laughs> uphill battle. And uh, Sphinx is also pro green, right? Mm -hmm. So Hierarch beats don't even really work. One, yeah, right? one Sphinx is in just... play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what it is that Sean. Maybe, like, Berserk doesn't even work, because Berserk is removal, and, no. and can't, I'm curious yeah, can't at this it. point what, what yeah. it is that he's... Uh... You engineered this horrible thing for Sean. This is how he gets so the here's, start. So here's the gush, day. finally. You know, Mox, it looks like. Preordaining on floating mana. Yep. There's another JVP. And a card that's moving quite rapidly. Yeah. <laughs> Our damn amateur cam setup can't catch all this. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. I got a good, good view of Raw. Yeah, like you said, you gotta believe Sean has a plan. Or you wouldn't still be. Anyone want another beer? Yeah. No, I'm still working on it. What do you want? IPA. Uh, ask Joanne for an M43. Okay. I don't know if she'll let me have one, but that's what I want. If beer. not, these are IPAs. Okay. Those are the Austin Beer Works ones? Uh, these are fourth tap. Oh, fourth tap. Okay. Yeah. okay. The, uh, the M43, if you like IPAs, it is like. You know, sometimes you taste past the bitter into some fruitiness. Yeah, I don't taste any bitter at all fruitiness. It is wow. unbelievable. Is M forty three the brewery or the beer name? It's from somewhere in Michigan. I don't know. It's the beer name. Ain't a good beer in Michigan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Sean's gonna get this one. Uh, do we know how much extra counter magic he has in the board, or if he has any enchantment destruction in the board? We, we've discussed this yeah, earlier. We did. I just, I just yeah. don't want to pull up the deck yep, list while got, we're still live. So he's got uh, Fluster Storms in the board and Naturalize, which is cool. Uh, Seal of Primordium. He's got an extra Force of Will. Seal of Primordium is a real card for him. Yeah. Yeah, so he's got a lot of... This This matchup should improve. And then here's a Mystic Remora out of Chad. Oh, God. What? Just what, what a dicking. Uh, th this card is quite good as is, 
But when the cumulative upkeep never cumulatives, it gets really it's good. so absurd. So every turn he pays zero because you put one on and pay as much as is on there, yeah. right? Yeah. It's just going to make it so much harder for Sean. I mean, harder for Sean. We've agreed there is no out here, yeah. right? Granted, Chad's been, uh, he's been drinking this morning, so oh, he I, messed something we, up. We haven't been paying super close attention. I assume Chad swung again. Does that sound right? Who fucking knows? Yeah. Should put us at 6 to 25. Sphinx, does Sphinx have vigilance? There's a fetch. Yes, it does. Yeah. So, Which is what, what makes it hard uh, to yeah, keep track of. <laughs> yeah. Here's your laptop. He's flip Jace. I'm deciding what to do with Jace, and I, I don't know either. <laughs> is there anything of value? Looks like he, he he's plussing. Uh, he's giving okay, so he's giving the Sphinx minus two to uh, deal less damage. Okay, yeah. I so mean, that buys him a turn. He'll dead. be at one next turn. Um, so we're seeing in his yard. I see a Daze, a Preordain, a Gush. Do you see anything Lance. that wins the game? No. Yeah. Uh, in for commentary as well is uh, one of the Goif dogs, Bunk. Did I only get half a one? Yeah. <laughs> well, Joe wanted the other half. This is a beer I gotta drink while I'm sober. It's that good. Try he was this. like, yeah. don't you not like IPAs? I'm like, I don't. He's like, well... And I was like, it's for Sam, not me. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is really... It's almost just like orange juice, basically. Hi, Bunk. Boy. Which is dangerous in an IPA. So they're still in this game, huh? Sean yeah. fighting the good fight? Yeah, he's flipped his Jace. He ticked up to uh, keep the Sphinx out of lethal range, so he's bought himself okay. a turn. There's a Mystic Remora down. Like it's, He's putting up the good fight, but yeah, I, I still don't I really don't know what game. answer he has to... I mean, the thing is, he probably also assumes this match is going to be not going to time. Yeah, so, yeah. I, mean, I, I guess... So I, th I figured out I do uh, what his out is here, but it involves the Sphinx not being in play. Yeah. Which is ulting Jace repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you, you only have to ult, ult Jace once and you get an emblem. And then, and then you, you just cast, cast a bunch, bunch of spells. You probably want more than one of those emblems. Yeah. Really. Good luck ticking Jace up four times and surviving the Sphinx, though. That's... I think his out is to get a noble hierarch and then, you know, I think his out berserk, is, berserk. I think his out is to concede the game and deal. spend more That's, time in the next game. That'd yeah. probably be my out, too. Again, if someone was going to figure this situation out, it'd be Sean. He does uh, know his deck very well. And he does. Play, yeah, but, I never uh, underestimate his ability yeah. to uh, get out of. The, no the number of times where I thought I had Sean completely dead and he came back and beat me is... Uh, I can't count those on one yeah, hand anymore. So. Four. <laughs> I'm having trouble keeping track of the life totals with these giant dudes out. Also, we're in an infect match. This is going to be real complicated. I believe we're at 425. Like, <laughs> fortunately, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're this. not doing our due diligence as well as yeah. we should be, but... Uh, it's tough with a vigilance creature. With the vigilance too. creature and also this matchup is just... And beer. That's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's not even one yet. Come on, guys. <laughs> be real. You've been drinking since 10 a.m., so... No. No? I, I had to know. get all this shit set up. No one would help me. You weren't drinking while doing it? No. It's tech stuff, dude. It's complicated. This is my job. Sort of. A <laughs> uh, question that came up while we were hanging out outside. Do you guys know if there's going to be any vintage at GP Houston? I assume there will be. Yeah. Um, I saw a post them saying they didn't want to schedule vintage events, but they'll fire them on demand. Which sure. Getting eight people is... I wish they just scheduled. So yeah, they're the also plan. usually single elimination, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, well, everything is three rounds now. Yeah. yeah, it's a three round single, and I think. Really. I believe Sean is just having it explained to him that Mystic Remora says, "No, I draw cards and don't put counters on this." Ah, yeah, that's I'm, real brutal. I'm, I'm pretty sure the chat is just missing attacks here. Like, Sean should definitely be dead by now, right? Yeah, oh, he might have been right. ticking Jace up to minus two of them. That's what he not, was doing. Not, not enough, though. But yeah. Not enough, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is still alive. I thought uh, Sean would be dead by now. We're missing something. And we need to hire a table spotter with the zero dollars yeah. that we have. Are you telling me the guy in the Bucky's hat isn't successfully closing the game out immediately? <laughs> Surprised he's not wearing his Stroh's hat. hat. He's wearing his Stroh's shirt. Patch, yeah.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. <laughs> so when we organized the event, uh, Sam had us all send in our deck lists on Wednesday. Uh, so we've all had access to them, as we mentioned, but uh, we haven't been able to make any changes to our list. <laughs> I mean, what's the point of having them publicly available if you can change them? Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. So I'm just saying, uh, Sean knew this was a, a possibility, but it wasn't much you could oh, do I, I told him, like, Friday it was definitely happening. Yeah. He's a good sport about things, so. He can I, always I just I think Chad is just actually just not attacking. Why wouldn't he be attacking? Does he have two solemnities down there just to rub it in? Yeah. It looks like yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, he doesn't have Sean's deck. I mean, it, so actually, you definitely though, want to roll out that second I can see there's, there's an argument to be made that Chad up. should not be trying to win here because he, he could just try to drag this out. For if he just dragged as long as possible because Sean can't win. In which case, Sean should be scooping. I in which case, Sean. Yeah. I think it's unlikely Chad is doing now. It that, might but... Sean might be dragging well, the other thing too is... because his deck wins quickly. That's true. That's true. So if he grabs a quick game two, then uh, you know, he, then you can put the clock in a more favorable position. I, I I am at the point that I have so little idea what's happening. I am going to take the life total off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Do not trust that. Because I believe we just had this was uh the infect land just went to the graveyard what an inkwath ink man if you guys want i could just pop down and see what the life totals are no oh, no like this, this game is so over yeah. I, just, I don't it's not really worth it Sean, sean's plan is probably to pump or attack with that jace go invigorate invigorate become a mint berserk and run over the sphinx of the steel wind but the Jace. You have to check the Jace, not oh, the Oh, Jace, yeah. Because yeah. Yep. if he can say... Say he invigorates the thing twice, that makes it an 8-8, eight, eight, right? Yeah, and puts Chad um, in like 31 plus. Well, yeah, and then say he, he'd have to, probably have to double Berserk it. It's extremely yeah. narrow line, but it's his line. It does seem like he's, uh, he's filling up the yards. And, and he has uh, become immense, so, too. Yeah, that, I think that's what he... So say you go about. invigorate, invigorate, become immense. You now have a 14-14... And you, you berserk it twice. Then you're hitting him with a sixty-sixty uh, trampler. All right. I really <laughs> want that to happen right now. <laughs> Can we please see that yeah, happen? It's hard to yeah, read against the solemnity. He's hanging. Deck, he's hanging onto like, the pump spells. He's got sixty-sixty trampler. I'll yeah. be down with that. Running over a sphinx of the steel wind for about fifty damage with a. Uh, Oh, that'd be fun. That would be a statement. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be very fun. If Sean does that, I'll just I'll put odds on him winning the whole day. <laughs> There's oh. Invigorate. Um, so Chad's going to gain four and also draw a card. Is it on Invigorate on... Oh, is that a Hierarch? On a Hierarch. Oh, I didn't realize he had the Hierarch. I thought that was a Mox. Oh, yeah, that's what he's doing. There's a Force. So he's trying to eat it? Like, is he just trying to bait counters? Because I don't know why you'd be Invigorating a Hierarch. Um, and Hierarch has one power when it attacks. Oh, well, I guess the Jace would, too. Yeah, but it's pro-green. You have to attack with so the Jace, not the, not the yeah, yeah, the pro doesn't matter too much here, though, because... I guess if it gets big you're enough, trying to yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it, the damage that uh, the Sphinx takes from the Jace isn't all that important. He's, well, I guess he can be, but... Scott, do you want to be on camera? No, just want pets. Couple of dudes. Um, it'd be nice. Like if Sean had an ink moth, he could use that to block. He could block and pump. And say no, actually kill. Because the creatures can't get counters either. Oh, the creatures can't either. Yeah, like at least use it defensively just to block. For yeah, you can chump. But yeah, but I don't know how he even survives Chad's next turn unless Chad is again just he's not. pumping and he's got an ancestor recall in hand. He's gonna try and. Maybe he's trying to mill with the uh, with the Mystic Grimoire. <laughs> <laughs> does Mystic Grimoire say May? I assume it does, but the ancestor doesn't seem worth checking. Chad's yeah, just drawing off all these. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, I I have no idea what's going on right now. I yeah, we're pretty. Oh, that looks like Invigorate. But he's, his recall resolved. I don't know if Chad's sitting on more counter magic or not. Probably drawn enough cards that he should be. Yeah, he probably should. It's true. We knew about the force. 
Um, so we know one Invigorate is resolved, right? Two, I believe. Uh, I thought he forced one of them. There's three. Well, there's three that have been cast. Okay. But that, that puts Chad over 40 life here. He's got to be. When this match, if Sean uh, swings and they shake hands, I'll have to wonder uh, is who that actually a, won. That's a fetch, okay. Wait, is it, was that a fetch? That was a become immense. Oh, it looked like a fetch land to me. Okay. Uh, we'll have to adjust for so, glare right. between if, rounds. If the three invigorates have resolved, which I think only two of them did, so that makes 18. it a 15 15. With Chad at a million life. Chad's over 40 life, but Berserk. You know, there's there's the power of exponents yeah. there, right? Um. But, you know, the interesting part is he's putting this on the Hierarch rather than the Jace, so he can't use the Hierarch for mana to cast another Berserk. You know what he... I, I wonder if he's trying Jace. to activate the Jace oh, so he, he can get another... Backs. Yes! Wow. Oh my god, that might be what he's doing! <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna activate the Jace, get it, and then he's gonna get another flashback and try and flashback... The other in a, the a brainstorm from Chad. So Chad knows that maybe this is going to work. Now, he's got the mana to, to flash back, become a mince, too, and delve it out. Oh, my God. So that thing might be about a, about an, a 2020 lose. here. If with, Chad loses this, I authorize everyone to punch him in the nuts. Like, Oh, man. You, you engineered an Infect versus Solemnity match, and he might actually get there. That's... I don't think we're supposed to be rooting for people when we're doing the commentary, but I'm really rooting for Sean. I mean, you gotta <laughs> root for the underdog. <laughs> oh, it looks like you flashback Ancestral Re or Gush. You get flashback Gush because it didn't cost the mana. Yep. So yeah, yeah. Now he's activating. He's gonna loop. So he gets another Planeswalker. He can flashback again. Yep. This is remember what we were saying about how Sean finds his way out of situations. Yeah. Sean is really good at infect. <laughs> I, I I feel like Chad had to have let him get this far. It's right? It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so now he's gonna. What is he gonna do? Flashback become immense? The question in the chat Solemnity prevents poison counters. That is correct. Uh, apologies, we cannot respond from our own Twitch account because I lost the password. So we're responding from my personal Twitch account, which is the Craven one, which is also not a mod. Good, good, okay. Huh. <laughs> well, that was the thing, you know. That but was we the can, thing I assumed was properly account, set up. But can't. Yeah, because I have the stream okay. key. It was one of those ah. things I assumed I had not fucked up. Okay. But, but yeah, uh, as per my usual, pops it. I it does. It uh, well, again, it's oh, and he's got a he's got a fatal Chad. push in hand. Fatal push. Mm. Oh, well, Sean has about seven million force wheels too. I saw. So there's the swing wheels. for a fucking million. Where's the berserk? He must have berserk here. He's flash. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's the, the flashback berserk. <laughs> yes. Come on. What's the count? I mean, it's got it's. It's huge. And Chad doesn't Chad have... does not have black mana. Unless, oh, yeah, unless one of those moxes is a jet. I can't tell. No, I don't think so. Oh, oh that's God. an emerald. That's a moto emerald. Is this fucking happening? Like, so <laughs> this is hilarious. So as I understand what's happened here, Chad played with his food. <laughs> I'm gonna go down and ask how big that no And then his it. food bit him. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they're doing the math on trying to figure out how lifelink is going to resolve here yeah i'd also it'd be nice if we knew chad's exact life total right now too yeah ben's working on that i assume but again like we said sean plays this deck all it is the a 58 58 trampler <laughs> <laughs> 58-58 Trampling Noble Hierarch. Oh my god. It is a 58-58 Trampler. Yeah, I mean, this is where Sean's experience... So, like, so Sean did Sean pull that out? No, he just fatal put... Or no, he didn't. No, he couldn't. Blast. Sean, Sean... Oh my god. He... <laughs> it's 58, what, is, 58. what is going on here? <laughs> this is... Oh man. I, I, I don't I don't understand what just happened here. I I engineered a Chad win here. <laughs> All right, let's let's go ahead and talk about sideboards. Um, we'll we'll pull wow. up. Uh, so common common vintage interactions in match one. Here. Yeah, yeah, very common. Uh, so 
We've got Sean. Uh, does, does he want? I guess Flusterstorm. Uh, yeah, I feel like you've got it. And the Seal of Primordium. Magic. The Seal of Primordium. For and that, is that a naturalize, I think? It's a naturalize, yeah. yeah. So you bring in the naturalize and the Seal of Primordium. What do you guys sure. think about Null Rod here? Do you think he tries to slow, slow him would, down with it? I would probably bring in the Null Rod. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't Chad want... has a lot of artifact man in the deck. I think you probably don't bother with the library and the cages, right? Does Cage really probably do not. I wouldn't bring in Cage. Yeah. Um, he's, your only thing you stop, the cage stops is tinkering for Sphinx. Yeah, and you, it doesn't you stop just counter Rector that, things so. and, uh... Alright, so what, what is Chad, Chad doing? I assume he's bringing in the moat, because the moat has the potential to make it where this game cannot be, where Sean cannot win the game. Well, yeah. Sean still has enchantment removal now. Yeah, um, well, he has the way to make it where you have to yeah. deal with that, I what guess. What is... Archetype of Imagination. That is a card that we should definitely yeah. go ahead and uh, pull up on the uh, Archetype of Imagination. I'm probably not going to spell Archetype right either. So, Archetype of Imagination. Creatures you control have flying. He put, he brought this in specifically to make his moat less bad. Ah, okay. Uh, it's creatures you control have flying, creatures your opponents control lose flying, and can't have or gain flying. This is... This is only to get around his own moat. I mm -hmm. told him I didn't like it, but it's um and it can be pulled up with Rector too. And it can be pulled up with Rector because it is an enchantment creature. Yeah. Yep. Oh, asking, I didn't know those creatures. Chat's asking no video. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Is it like paused on video right now? Uh, it's it paused on our screen. Oh, okay. Wondering, yeah, making sure nothing's going wrong there. It says it's streaming. <laughs> yeah. Chat, say okay. something if uh, if we're fucking up. I feel like Chad missed many magic fish. Yeah, we're gonna go back and watch this later and discover that Chad is very bad at magic. He, mi he might have missed an attack. I, I couldn't tell. I, I'm pretty sure he missed multiple attacks. Maybe. One of my favorite stories playing Sean, I was, I was playing Reanimator, and um, I reanimated Elish Nord against him. And he didn't scoop, and I'm like... I don't think he has a way to kill Elish Norn. Totally forgot Berserk's removal spell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm attacking that's, with the Elish Norn. Yeah. Right? That's really Keeping common, down. especially out of Sean. Like, yeah. a lot of people only run one or two Berserks, and Sean yeah. likes to run three, sometimes four, because oh, it's, it's, it's a removal hmm. spell. Hmm. So, um, so I'm attacking with the Elish Norn, beating him, and he has two Ink Moth Nexuses in play. And uh, then one turn, I, or, or, or I end up getting a Grizzlebrand and killing him or something, and he goes... He goes, how did you know I drew the Berserk? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, well, you, you were attacking with Elishnorn, and then you didn't. This turn, I drew the Berserk. And I'm like, oh, I, I just forgot to attack. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Sean will never have a uh, technically wrong play, basically. So he, he can never plan on his opponent forgetting to do something. Yeah. It's just not so his. One of the things I want to point yeah. out that's really interesting, Sean has, like we said, basically ported a Legacy Infect deck. Uh, there is there are other infect decks in vintage. Uh, some people play essentially green uh, green blue uh, infect with black for tutors. And we had a guy come to one of our first vintage events who instead of playing black for tutors, said all I get with the tutors is berserk. So you played assault probe, which is basically the same card as berserk except it's red. It gives a what gives a creature assault double strobe. strobe. Assault, assault strobe. strobe. Yeah. Gives a creature no. double, strike. Yeah, double strike. And that's what I told Sean. If you want to play infect, you should probably play this rug build. Yeah. But it looks like he basically just chose to tune his legacy. That gives deck. you some other good stuff. I mean you could you get some artifact destruction. I mean I guess green already gives you that, but you could play like ancient grudge if you're on a rug infect. Oh, do you want to get on camera? Come on, buddy? come on up here, buddy. We're gonna get, join, get our first join, dog. Join the feature match. Good boy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. There's our guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're a star. Ten out of ten, best commentary boy. Yeah. This is Bob. He is he's, certainly uh, the cutest one on camera. He's one of three dogs here today. Uh, yeah, where where are Juno and Randy? Um, I the talked to Joe. Large. It's oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's supposed to rain, so then yeah, we have to bring one inside. Have, ben has two Great Danes for. for uh, they could course. definitely drool on the vintage decks on the table. So if it was if it was going to be nice weather, I was going to bring them over there and hang out in the backyard. But. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. All right. Uh, so they boarded. Has anyone mauled yet? It looks like no. It looks like we are having a little bit of I connection. I berserked a lava mancer turn two in Legacy vs. Burn. <laughs> 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 Guy's trying to make sure he swings in there for one. 
You said we're having a connection problem. What's going on? It's, it seems like we're, we're coming back, we're coming in and out a little bit. So if you miss something, I apologize. But we will have all of this posted to YouTube because I remembered to click start recording this time. Good, good. Mm -hmm. You can see down here is our stream. Oh, uh, yeah. If someone's saying don't don't attack, I assume he's talking about my Elish Norn story. But, yeah, I know that now. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I just totally forgot. I did that once with, um, you'd think I'd learn, I attacked with a uh, um, Ethersworn Cannonist into a Berserk. Yep. Yep. Ethersworn well, Cannonist is surprisingly good against them. It's very fans. good against them, yeah. 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 I The last time I played Sean... Uh, a Maverick, I think Canonist was like an important part of me yeah. getting it. I was also playing a freaking, uh, what's it called? Um, what's the green hate bear that shuts off in fact? Oh, Malira. Yeah, yeah I was playing fair. a Malira just because I knew Sean yeah. was there that day. So, that... so yeah, so Sean uh, almost always played in fact for a very long time. So here's a pro out of Sean, which is... in every deck I yeah. could... <laughs> I was I, I beat him a couple times by Green Sun Zenith and Malia. And Chad did bring the mode Misstep, Tundra, there, Force, Solemnity, and a Time Walk. So it's a good thing that Sean probed because we were all talking when so they were he's resolving got no Mulligans. Yeah. Threat? And one land. No threat and one land? And a mode. It looks he's like he mulled the six. He's got a uh, so yeah, he's got a he I believe he has a flooded strand on top. Yeah. Uh, okay, but he's nice got job. he's got two mana on the on the turn that he draws. And the only thing he can cast in his hand is misstep and time walk. I mean, it's not the worst. Six, hey, it's I not. No, he's got, I'd probably keep that six. I wouldn't be thrilled about it, yeah. but I'd keep the six. I mean, in fact, can tempo you really well, so you don't really want yeah. to be mulling to five or four. And... So having a misstep and and you know what he can do is he can time walk here and then slam the solemnity next turn. Yeah. Yep. Which is what I'd be doing, I think. Have Wait, we seen Sean? Did he not have a mox? I thought you said he had a mox. No, no, he doesn't have a mox. Oh, okay. I thought I'm he sorry, I, I was incorrect about what he described. There is an underground sea. Oh, oh and he had a flooded strand in yeah. hand. This is his. Uh... Oh, this is his second. Okay, he went like this is time. We're. Well, I'm no, getting, get me, get uh, no, I'm getting getting myself mixed up. Alright, so he's gonna yeah, time walk and that's so oh, he's gonna oh, cycle time walk and okay. that's gonna get him to three mana, which is gonna get him to solemnity. Okay. Alright, I forgot that he went first. I didn't notice he had a land in There's play. a second so moat. That's, yeah. that's that's much better than I thought. He didn't he didn't I mean, roll the six, so he didn't scry. This he is a fine plan. Played the land for, and Sean probed him on the It's a fine plan for him to be on to just try to make a solemnity with force backup. Yep, he has you know, yeah. force and missed up. Uh, and he's also got the moat. Sean uh, can answer these things this game, but it's still what you want to be doing yeah. if you're Chad. See, now, if he has a moat and a Solemnity, it's be a you lot. can't naturalize them both. Well, I guess with Jace Fan's Prodigy, you can. That's true. Uh, there's the Scrubland. Two... So he's chosen to go for the perfect Esper mana here. Mm -hmm. Which means... Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a fine keep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's on double white, so if he can hit another land, he's moats online. Did you just slam Solemnity here? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's yeah, got the I force. So like, I, you definitely yeah, you defend it. There's nothing, no reason not to. The other thing is, this moat is he can he can choose not to he can choose to let the moat be countered, and uh, it resolves. So, so there's there's Solemnity down, and yeah, Sean just Sean's looks like he's just breaking land. land. Yeah, yeah, this is. It uh, looks like he kept a on the draw one lander with a tundra with a with a probe, and but it's a tundra. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. and there's a moat, and that's. That's Sean looking for a land seal of primordial. Now the good I'm thing not going to say Sean's out of it because we said that last. Game well, the and got proven the other thing wrong. though is Sean's up a game and yep. Chad is showing no aggression so far. So right. Sean can try to just ride this one. Sure. Um, Chad can win very quickly though once he once he gets a record. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I mean, Sean maybe will sit on counter magic and try to just. Fight yeah, whatever happens. he could. Yep. I don't know. Looks like a ritual. And that's a Glistener Elf. Thing and there's another, there's, there's another... The Elf doesn't, the elf doesn't uh, help him much, unless he can get rid of the moat and the Solemnity. So here's another moat. So i got to imagine Second Sean's moat. plan here now is not to blow up moat, but to blow up Solemnity and go for the damage plan again. Or go, go with the Ink Moth over the moat. Yeah, you can't, can't attack. He can't. Moat. Sorry, yeah, that, that, yeah. sorry, that's what I meant. And he's got another Glistener. Yeah. And so, I mean, so he's got it, Emerald Pearl Tundra right now is Sean's yeah. mana. Pulling that Emerald was nice. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the good mox form. And there's another solemnity. Okay, yep. Yeah. Does and so if Chad gets what, one more solemnity out, Sean no longer has a way to win at all. He doesn't have enough answers. Well he, he has to answer. Prodigy, man. 
Hey, yeah, that's if Chad, that's so yeah, brings, Chad gets another solemnity, then yeah, Sean just has to answer well, the moats. And also, yes, Jason's damage. project that can ultimate. Yes, well, let's yeah. go ahead and mark that. Uh, that Sean won. Um, won. But yeah, I with that's a good way to mark it. Yeah, that works. Hey, buddy. Hey. Are nice. you guys? To, are is your match done? Yeah. Okay. Our backup feature match is uh, finished. So. Who got it? I did. How Who many? Huh? Who are you playing? playing Patrick Brennan. So okay. I want him too. We've got Nick it's joining pretty, us. Pretty here. exciting match. This match is. Have you? Did you get to like no, watch any of this? No, but I heard him talking. And apparently, some sexy stuff was happening. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fifty-eight yeah. power Glistener Elf. No, no, no. Noble no, Hierarch. Yeah. yeah solemnity. Yeah, solemnity. So in fact, was shut off. Yeah. Huh. So Chad currently has two moats, two solemnities in play. Sean's got double Glistener Elf, and those cards have no text currently. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. Do we know? Wait, uh, they have text. They can chump block on an Academy Rector. I guess that no, they can't you, chump you block. Don't, you don't want to. Well, chump block block creatures can attack, and, so you, they and no. you don't want to chump block an Academy yeah. Rector. <laughs> Although, sure, why not? With yeah. a creature that doesn't do damage. There's yeah, a seal of primordium. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. Seal of primordium. Okay, that's. I mean, bad. that's that's part way to uh, getting all this shit answered. It looks like he's not going to crack it. Probably waiting for you know if Chad gets an actual win con enchantment like on right. missions. Right. So, so I think Stu's right. Sean's up a game. There's only 13 minutes left. So let's say, even if, let's say, Chad does end There's up winning this. There's a force on the Seal of Primordium. I mean, if, I think that is correct. I think that's correct, but, too. If, man, that's a bad card to force a well. If, if Sean wins, if Chad wins this with three minutes on the clock, advantage Sean. And what's he slamming down? Can we see what that is? The glare is kind of tough for me. Uh, is it's a cage. cage. It's a cage. So we did bring in cage. Interesting choice. Does cage do anything? Well, I guess, yeah, again, tinker. It stops. Shuts off. Yeah, it stops him from tinkering Sphinx. Is, uh, I guess it also shuts off flashback therapy. It shuts yeah. off his own Jason's prodigy, too. Shutting Ooh. off flashback therapy is probably a bigger deal yeah. than shutting off Jason's prodigy. Yeah. Well, he shuts off his own Jason's prodigy. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm saying I think he would rather yeah. shut off Rector. If, and plan is, yeah. if he is on the mill with Jace plan, I guess then you're not going to be flashing back. But, that's uh, true, yeah. He's got to uh, got to get the Jace first. So. Okay, that and looks like a... That's a or, no, that's or a or blighted, agent. blighted agent. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, as we thought last game, Chad, this is like Chad's game to lose. Yes. Chad's just it gotta Chad's find just gotta find a win condition. Well, specifically the win yeah. condition he has to find is uh is Sphinx of the Seal Wind. He may also bring in he's got an Ink Moth Nexus in this not an Ink Moth, sorry, uh Inkwell Leviathan in the sideboard, yeah. which he may have brought help, in though. because he brought the mode in. Oh, fair enough. Um the clock is definitely Chad's enemy right now, though. We also missed a force for Chad. Also need to bring up. You guys are commenting. Yeah, yeah. how'd your match so, go? Yes. Oh, I lost. Who were you playing? Ink Moth can get over my You're playing against Murphy, but Ink Moth has. Oh, all of you are. Yeah. Has no text with Solemnity here. This match has been insane. Sean uh, got game one against Solemnity by making a 58 power Noble Hierarch and doing natural damage. Oh, I thought he lost that game. No, he got it. I think he got it. No, he didn't get it. He didn't? Uh, no, he lost by one. He was off by one. Uh, oh, I didn't. We've been going on the assumption he won that. Because so Chad went first. I don't yeah. Don't confirm, no, he lost. lost. Okay. I, I just, As you can see, sure. we yeah, are yeah, well, that's a bummer. excellent at our job yeah, on coverage suck. here. Yeah. Um, if he did lose that, then he lost that. That 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 changes things big time in Chad's favor here. Obviously, uh, winning a game instead of losing it helps. Helps the person who won the game. I guess we'll move this uh, this this win. Okay. Uh, well. So we had that wrong. <laughs> Chat. Uh, our commentary's off to a wasn't. Oh, you know why? Because he was over forty. He blocked with life the lifelink. Yeah. The yep. Yeah. That prevent. That's a twelve point swing. The block yeah. with the lifelink. Yeah. Fucking vintage, man. Wow. Fucking vintage. 
Yeah, it's confirmation. Yeah, okay. The good news is we'll have a much simpler match as our feature match for next round. I've already planned it. Yeah, what? well, I guess we'll, we'll get there. Next round will be Blood Moon's Tribal versus Merfolk. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a straightforward one. Two of the three Tribal decks here today, Blood Moon, Merfolk, and the last being Eldrazi. Yep, Thalia Tribal. Actually, I'm only running four Thalias today, so it is Eldrazi. You, yeah, <laughs> Eldrazi slash Thalia Tribal. Yeah, I'm not the war, on, the uh, war for Innistrad. And I'm not on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on Heretic Guitar today. So, so there's the I, Tinker. There's the and Tinker. Again, but we there is a cage in play. So he's welcome to Tinker, but I don't know what he's going to get with it. This is. I suspect this is where Sean's going to go. No, nope, yep, I expect cage. to see. Yep, he's going to. There it is. <laughs> Congrats Brutal. on sacking your mocks. Um, I guess you can go get a soul ring with it. Yeah, how does that work? Does he... It, it is against the rules for him to get something else. Oh, so he is, he is not able to fail to get... Like, he can't get the Sphinx and go, Oh, I fucked up, now I don't get anything. Does the Sphinx just sit in his library, though? Yeah, he's no, gonna, he's just going to get con, something else. If it was a containment priest... The Sphinx would be exiled. The Sphinx would be exiled. But yeah, this but is, no, you, that you're not allowed to... He just he grabbed a soul ring. Yeah. Yeah, Basically, you know. the game says you're not allowed to break the rules. Yeah. Get something else. Yeah. yeah. So... Sort of. Yeah. The, the problem with some of the rules is they assume that you follow them. Yeah. So we have to have this separate document called the IPG. <laughs> and then there's another document called the JAR, because the IPG isn't enough. And there's also the Code of Conduct. And they're stored on the CP. And uh, there, there's the Magic Tournament rules. So yeah, uh, you better have a PDF reader. Hey, someone's saying, Wiley Vintage, that he's already revealed the Sphinx just stays in the library? Is that what happens? I don't know, but we're also playing at We're All Friends REL, so... Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm... I, I don't actually know how that works at a real tournament, but at We're All Friends REL, you go and get a soul ring. Yeah, we don't have a judge in the yeah. house, so we're relying on Google and being nice to each other. You can definitely choose Sphinx as a target, it just doesn't do anything. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. yeah, you know, I've done that with uh, Oath of Druids before, when they have a cage... But a lot of times people do that you on purpose with both of yeah, you. Just, just to flip your shit. intentionally yeah. do it. Um, I actually got a match or got a game at Eternal Weekend last year by m using my oath into a containment priest, letting it exile the Grizzle Brand, but I put a. Um, so here's a demonic time tutor out of Chad. Yep. And then I. Chad's actually pretty close to just being able to yep. cast his Tinkerbot, so I would not be surprised if that is what he is demonic tutoring for. Or just, uh, you know, he's going to get the Dark Depths, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, there you go. You can still win, right? Does he have a Thespian stage out, or is he going to slow He has Solemnity it? out. Oh, yeah. right, he does. <laughs> I forgot about that interaction. Yeah. God, this fucking deck. Okay, yeah. Someone's saying, uh... You've seen the judge call three times at so, Eternal so, Weekend. Again, yeah. the way that this deck was formed That's was... Interesting. You know when you go to lunch with one of your co-workers and you're pissed off for a little bit and then you talk about something else? <laughs> That's how this deck was born. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it, was, it was born uh, at the outside seating area at the Whole Foods on Post Oak. The double, the double moat deck was uh, born at a Whole Foods. Well, the, the double moat is, I said, he said, what should I, you know, Solemnity doesn't stop everything, I need to stop damage, so we'll play a moat. Because what if they blow up a moat and I go play two moats? <laughs> well, you should be playing as Form of the Dragon if you're on the Rector plan. Mm. Just Form of the Dragon, some people. Form of the Dragon, sweet. Yeah. Um, I've seen some uh, though, Dark so. Depths and Mirage Mirror Yep. Uh, shops there's that, Yeah, the deep shops. I don't yeah. see why you, like, there's no I actual almost, I almost played play that today. <laughs> Yeah, how'd you land on uh, Blood Moon, as you think? Um, I wanted to play something fun, and, uh... Yeah, and, since uh, Ben that, was the champion yeah. last year, he's, uh, pressure's off for him. Yeah, yeah. You can't use two playmats at once. Right. <laughs> Although, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm still trying to win. We, just, we, uh, we will see your playmat in fun. just a little oh. bit, when, because you'll be on the feature match right. next round. Right. So, but yeah, at, um, at one of our, our, uh, we had a charity tournament up in Austin, and, uh, I was playing Oath, and someone ran over my Grizzle Brand <laughs> with two Goblin Rabble Masters. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was, and it was Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah, it's so sick. Uh, that's one of those games where, like, after the game, I just look at him and just go, 
I'm really, I'm really we're, jealous. We're, 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 yeah, we're doing a really bad job of, of so, doing a podcast here instead of commentating. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well I mean, the game's kind Ch- of been. Chad does have a 2020 in yeah, play. I imagine his is the last game or close now that, five minutes. Now left. that we've been corrected and Sean lost, I think that we, makes things uh, much different. Yeah. yeah. And that is a that is an archetype of imagination. There it is. Oh, yeah. So his twenty twenty now flies, and uh, none of anyway. and none of yeah. Sean's creatures yeah. well, now flies. It also. Oh, now we can't jump black with an ink moth. Because uh, it does say they can't have I believe. flying. I believe. Right there it is. There it is. Yeah. There's Chad uh, into against Infect. That that was. I mean, a far better match than we yeah, expected credit, it to be. Credit to Sean. He uh, he played to his outs, and uh, he definitely fought. He got close. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, that, that was great. Well, um, we, we've got a few more minutes. Um, since you're not efficient, or since you're not efficient on camera, why don't you go see if anyone else is playing, and we'll shoot the okay. shit about some decks for sure. Yeah. So let's look at some other decks. Uh, you've you've seen the rest of them. Yeah. Of the decks you've seen, uh, is there anything you're particularly interested in? And my mouse has stopped responding. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of Tim's list. He's playing a. Uh, uh, Sam has named it uh, Accumulated Wishes. It's a Baral Burning Wish Accumulated Knowledge deck. Uh, which I think is like maybe starting to become an actual thing in Vintage. Uh, I haven't run into it before seeing Tim play it. It was the first time I saw it. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to see that in Tim's hands. Tim has played a lot of Vintage Merfolk. And Tim has also played a lot of Vintage Ridiculous decks. Yeah. And I think this was kind of trying to be that. That was like, let's come up with something fun. We've got, I mean, to to, to start, we've got four Baral and four Accumulated Knowledge. I'm already excited. Oh, I'm, for I'm, sure. I'm almost as hard as a Diamond in a Snowstorm. Not <laughs> quite there yet. Um, what, what, I mean, what else? Frantic Search. you got three Frantic Search in this deck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I mean... A two mana frantic search is just absurd. If he's got the brawl out and he frantic searches, that's just such a good interaction. Yeah. Oh, you don't know. forget that untaps uh, such lands as I don't know Tolarian Academy. But the part I I really like about this list is the wish board. Um, favorite. Right, Tim's still playing. Ashby got it in three. Cool. Ashby got it in three. Um, slaughter games out of the wish board. I'm a huge fan of. I think there's a lot of people today playing a number of, of uh, combo decks, and that slaughter games could be pretty intense. Telemann performance is another cool one that he's got in there. Uh, I just feel like Tim. So Tim, like we said, has played a lot of Merfolk. He's also played a lot of Legacy Belcher. So I think he has a bit of experience with wish boards. Yeah. Um, any other decks you want to talk about? Uh, I've got the list yeah, here. Yeah, Nick's for Oath deck. Nick, Nick's Oath deck. Uh, I, I have a lot of negative and positive things to say about this deck. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Not yet. We'll come say it. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, we've actually got Nick in the room right now, so we'll have a quick chat with him about his Oath Nick, deck. why don't you come over here? Yes. Uh, Nick is playing Close the door lab, and sit down. Lab Man Oath, which uh, you've been playing for a little bit now, Nick. I feel like I've seen you on this deck for a long time. On and off. It catches people by surprise. Well, I know there was a little while there I was playing uh, Blue-Red Pyromancer, and every time I got paired against he was like, sweet, just hold the bolts and bolt the lab, man. Yep, yep. Um, Which I suppose is what your four swan songs are for. <laughs> yeah, I love the yeah, swan song. Yeah, other things, yeah. The swan it's... song and an oath deck, that's a, that's a spicy meatball. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, also got the Salvagers with the Pirate Spell Bomb on the board. Are you playing, Fucking cool. I didn't look closely at this yet. Are you on Thought Lash on this build or no? No, I used to have that, but uh, I could use the space. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. And you can you can naturally lab man pretty reasonably without it. Well, I keep in a Demonic Consultation uh, when I am have the Oath, uh, the lab man in there. Yeah, yep. And uh, that works out really well because I can... Uh, because the oath can come in on uh, the lab man can come in on the oath, and I can immediately demonic consultation. And just name and something on, that's not in your deck, right? And yeah. just win on the draw. Yep. So I've got a question for you that's very important for people like me who are dicks when they play vintage. When you're going for the lab man kill, what do you name with demonic consultation? So Pradium Empires Volume Seven. Yeah, of that's, course. The, that's, that's the correct. Right. That's always a good choice. Uh, I also like Abandon Hope. Yep. Uh, Abandon Hope is good. A uh, deep wood. <laughs> that's uh, another good one. Hammered spawning bed. Yep. 
Um, These are all very good cards. <laughs> I think this Lab Man build is going to be interesting today because there's uh, not too, too much targeted removal in the room, I feel like. We don't have anyone on something like Delver. So you're mm -hmm. not going to run quite as much of a risk of the Oath it, into Lab Man get it. It does surprisingly well against those decks because if you have a Lab Man in play, you usually... Still got it in three. You also usually have a uh, gristle brand in play. Yeah. And so uh, obviously, you know, you can just draw seven and get your counter spell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, occasionally gets you. Yeah. Um, oh, you had an interesting man match with uh, David Brent uh, with uh, Patrick. Yeah. He had. Uh, he was on. He's on shops today. He's on overseer shops. Yeah, I put in uh, two oaths, so I double triggered, and of course he double triggered as well into a Phyrexian metamorph. <laughs> suddenly yeah. had a from having like a board with nothing he suddenly had like a gristle brand yeah. and you know oh yeah and a, a Phyrexian revoker and did you guys see that in uh, the vintage semifinals when Rich Shea did that yeah. the, <laughs> and dropped the, uh, the chalice to stop the Hercules yeah Man, that, God, was awesome. that was so brutal all right, well, uh, we are done with round one. We will be back shortly with uh, the beginning of round two. Who's on stay the tuned. Hold on. <laughs> We're not there yet. Uh, stay tuned. We will be back shortly. Thanks for watching.
All right. Hey, we are back. Um, so, I should probably talk here. Uh, this is Joe Kington. This is uh, Chad. Chad, I don't remember your last name. Hey, Chad Moss. There we go, Chad. And we got Nick here in the background, too. Be coming around in a second. So, we're back. I'm about to actually have interesting stuff up on screen. We have some interesting matches going in a bit. Uh, let's talk about what happened last round. So, you guys were on the feature match, right? Yeah, it was me and Sean. I was on the uh, Academy Rector Solemnity deck, and Sean was on Infect. Uh, so, game one, um, I had a Solemnity. I also had Mr. Grimora in play, which was great. I was drawing loads of cards. Mr. Kimura is nice. Yeah, it was sweet, especially when it interacts with Solemnity. It can't get H counters. Oh right, that's right. I yeah. forgot about that combo entirely. Um, anyway, four of those in my deck. You think I remember? It all came like down to he had a noble hierarch and he like berserked and invigorated. I was at like forty-seven life. It was a fifty-eight, fifty-nine noble hierarch swinging in. Holy shit! Yeah, and I chump with uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, which has pro green and it has life link. Yeah. So I effectively have 59 life. So it puts me at one. And he's just like, all right, that's it. Like, scoop, I'm done. Like, can't yeah. do it. Game two. Uh, turn two, I time walk, hit a land on my extra turn. And then uh, I played Solemnity. And then I also had like a mode in hand. Next turn, land, mode. Eventually I get out like double Solemnity, double mode. Holy shit. And slowly... Uh, I got like I tinkered. I tried to tinker for the Sphinx, couldn't because he had Graft Digger's Cage. So instead, I got Soul Ring. <laughs> and now I had six mana, and um, I tutored. And while I was tutoring, I was like, I need another mana source because I had Archetype Imagination and Yogmoth's Bargain in my hand, and a Swords. I was like, well, I I need another mana source because I'm probably gonna uh, want to play Bargain and draw a bunch of cards. And I saw Dark Depths. I was like, just kidding. I'm gonna get Dark Depths. Play it. It doesn't get any counters because of Solemnity. Merit Lage comes in, and then uh, I can Swords his Inkmoth Nexus when he animates it. But instead, I decided to play Archetype of Imagination because I brought it in for a reason. So I played it. All my dudes had flying. None of his dudes could ever have flying or get flying, and that was that. It is a pretty sweet card. This is one it's I have super to admit. Janky. I, uh, what the heck's card on here? Well, we're just going to do play plus card. Uh, hey, there's us. All right, we have people laying stuff out, but... Archetype of Imagination. This is a seriously fun card. I did not know this existed until <laughs> very recently. Yeah. It's fun. That's that's it. It says what it says. Uh, what's not to like about that? It's nice with moat. And it it's an enchantment nice creature. Yeah. And it pitches to force. So it does a couple of things that I need it to do. So I'm hearing Enlightened Tutor. That's basically what I'm hearing. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't play Enlightened Tutor. No, I don't think you should. Um, card disadvantage is bad. I mean, ha just being able to hit it with Rector is nice. Um, and with Graft Digger's Cage, that was obviously going to be difficult for me. Yeah, no, because absolutely. Because I can't flashback therapy. Uh, what's your, uh, how do you sec the Rector in the uh, matchup? Mm. Let's update the, uh, the top. Yes, let's do that. Um, so that's Ashby on the left. So. So that should be updating. Hold on, let's try just going and doing this. Nope, it's not updating. Um, let me make sure this is saved. Is it really? Hey, there we go. All right. Um, one Actually, second. is not on Infect. I need to get uh, back time left player deck. Ashby's on Merfolk. Yeah. There we go. The that is greatest tribe. Oh, that, so that, that's not the right keyboard. Just a question, Chad. How do you uh, get the uh, Academy Director to sacrifice? So I use Cabal Therapy. Oh, oh, nice. So Cabal Therapy, play it. I check their hand. Do you have any weird stuff I need to be worried about? Mm -hmm. And then I can sack it. Yeah. Right. It'll uh, the, the Academy Director trigger will resolve first, so I can get Omniscience or whatever. And then... Um, therapy will have the opportunity to resolve, and I can name something I've already seen, which is kind of nice. I have to admit, this is uh, your deck was a lot of fun. I have not seen anything even remotely. I have not recently. played a match that was that fun in a long time. Um, that was legitimately a treat for me. All right, so I think folks are resolving mulligans. So we want to tell them to go ahead and get started. Yeah, I will go ahead and let them know. Awesome. 
All right, so next up on the docket, uh, we got Ashby Graves on Merfolk, Ben Kendrick on Solemn Rector. So I, I, uh, I'm actually still good, I think. Beer? Yeah. I'm good, man. Thanks. We're taking it somewhat slow today. We're only, you know, slightly drunk at, at well, it's almost two. We're, we're on time. Uh, I love the fact that we have two decks playing, I think we have eight Academy Rectors in this, this match, or this entire thing, which is fantastic. Um, all right, so we've started. Is that a mountain, or is that a... I can't even see from here. All right, let's see if we got a mountain chrome mox. Yeah, Ben's deck is super cool. Um, oh, why do I have him on Solemn Rector? That's entirely the wrong thing. It's Blood Moon, right? Blood yeah, Moon he's, on, he's on Blood Moon Tribal. There we go. Hey, that makes a lot more sense. I'm like, Academy Rector. Yeah, mountain. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> is that Rabble Master? It is. It is. Oh, nice. Rabble Master. I um I had played a similar deck to what Ben is playing a while ago. And uh God man, that deck is a lot of fun. Um I have not used this keyboard. Um let's see, what else? Does Ben also have an Eidolon? Already? Oh, man. Yeah, oh, he's, wow. he's got an Eidolon already out there. Wow. Yeah, well, Ashby's, nice. Ashby's in some trouble here. So wait, wait. Did he just cast something for Morph? He's got a Morph creature, right? What the heck is it? No, no, no. Those creature, are Goblin so? Tokens. Oh, that makes more so sense. So Ashby has taken two plus another four, so that's six. That so Ashby's at 14. And then we got a Curse Catcher? Yeah, uh, that's Silvergill. So oh, Silvergill. Yeah, you're right. What Ashby's going to have to do here with his Silvergill is he's going to have to chump the Rabble Master. Yeah. Because it only gets plus one plus oh. Yeah. Um, and what's super nice about that is. Um, Thank you. Oh, there's Darlin. Yep. Um, I should probably go down and intervene and make sure Darlin's okay. Uh, or, well, the other dogs are okay. You guys take over commentary. Yep, 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 we'll be here. Did you get a soda water? Yeah, what, what? Soda water or something? Yeah, oh, yeah. wait. Ashby's <laughs> actually learned that. He's at 12 because of the, uh, the Eidolon. That's right. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so only the goblin tokens are attacking. Ashby will take another three. We'll go to nine. Um, what's really nice about Rabble Master is that um, other goblins have to attack. So Rabble Master doesn't have to attack every turn. So yeah, I see. Um, So right now, been sitting pretty. Yeah, Ashby's in a pretty tough spot here. He's got, that looks like it's a wasteland, but that's not going to help him against the mountain. The Chrome Ox is going to be okay. That's another Silver Gill, which is pretty important for him. Unfortunately, that Silver Gill is just a 2 1. So, chumping against a Goblin token is not great for him. No. He's going to move to combat, and he's going to get another token here. For four, yeah. So, he's still taking three. Ashby's at six. He's forced to do it. Pretty yeah. much. But, you know, what, what's his out here? Like, right now, he's got three land. Okay. You play another let's, one. Let's keep jumping stuff. He needs to lay down a couple of lands. He needs a land right now. And he needs another Silver Gill. Well, it's exactly what that is. Another Master of Waves. That's another land. That's huge for him. Because mm -hmm. next turn, he's going to have enough mm -hmm. colored sources Mm -hmm. uh, for him to be able to hit that master and right. something else. Well, he looks like he's got a uh, a lord in his hand. I wonder why he didn't just yeah, play Yeah, he's got a two lord. lords. He didn't have enough blue mana. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that looks like it's a uh, wasteland, a strip mine, and two islands. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a strip mine there. Yep. Beat in for four. Yeah, you got a double block. So he'll take two. He'll get four. He's in a really tough spot. He should be at three, actually, according to his life pad. Oh, wow. Okay, so we missed something. Yeah, I think we did. Um, I just did a double check. He was at five before that swing, so I don't know what... Uh, Fire confluence for game. And that'll do it. it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Topo Chico. Oh, that's Good choice. Uh, that's right. I got, I got a bottle over there. Uh, there. I got one over here. Uh, you want to sit back here? No, I'm, I'm good. You, you take that. I'll show you how I'll move your jacket. Oh, this is sweet. I have seen It's them. a business not, card yeah, bottle a, opener. Oh, I can 
don't see how that would work in the uh, in the tech industry. In, in certain, <laughs> yeah, in certain disciplines. The the one or the other uh, business that is on the one that I have is a law firm. Well, I that's see. also appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now you think of it. So, what do you think Ashby's gonna bring in here? Um, you wanna get his deck up really quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's on the uh, on the thing over there on the right. Now go 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 here. There you go, Ashby deck. Cool. So here is his deck. If you want to read it, clear. Mm, it's he's on gonna the get that well. echoing truth. Those echoing truths in there, I would imagine. Yeah, echoing truths for sure. Yeah, I I was talking to him about it. Um, I think because he plays one Echoing Truth main, mm-hmm. Echoing Truth um, is a really great way for him to interact with like Blood Moon. Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a way oh, to yeah. deal with it normally. So also the tokens, we don't forget the tokens. Yeah, I, I, so he's got four Hercules recalls. I don't think he'll bring that in. Graph Digger's Cage might be a way to deal with uh, creature tokens from Ravel Master. But that doesn't. Uh, that's no, that comes into play. Yeah, it comes uh-huh. into play. Uh, Dismember maybe. Yeah, um, get the rebel masters out of no there. No steel sabotages. I think he just brings in the Hercules. I mean, the problem is if he brings in dismember. He's going to. You take mean out, the echoing truth? Uh, sorry, yeah, what I say, Hercules. I mean, echoing truth. But if he brings in dismember, he's going to take out stuff that I think he wants in this matchup. I mean, he doesn't have that yeah. many flex slots. No, no, no. I agree. And honest, in all honesty, he's got four middle misstep. I don't see Ben playing many one drops. Yeah, one drop. So you could That's probably get away with two echoing truth and two dismembers here. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you're right. You're right. So I definitely is in the I think that's what I go with. Let's take a look at Ben's deck. What does he bring in? No rods are dead. Koth is probably nah, that's probably not very great. Seems either. like Pyroclasm would be pretty good. Uh red elemental blast. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, I absolutely. think the pyroclasm, the four uh red elemental blasts. The question and is maybe what, the ensnaring bridges too. The question yeah. is what is he gonna take in? Uh and the Witchbane orb is nah, I think. It doesn't really need the Blood Moons for this matchup. It's all islands. Right. So, honestly, you could probably get away with taking out... Um, I, you could probably take out four Blood Moons and two Magus for the yeah. four rel- Red Elemental Blasts, yeah. a Pyroclasm, and maybe a Bridge. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe bring in another Bridge as well and just leave one Magus in there yeah. or something. What's his kill condition? With, that, with the bridge in play, I guess he just... He's got Chandra. He's, he's got Chandra. Chandra yeah. will get there, and Koth, honestly, isn't a bad option either. Yeah. You could bring in the basically all eight um, moon effects. Yeah. Bring in the four, Blast, two bridge, Pyroclasm, and Koth, and you're probably in a pretty good spot. Let's take a look here. Looks like they are shuffling up. You also got to remember, I guess, if he puts the bridges in, he can still draw a card, swing in uh, with the t- Goblin tokens, and then just... Dump the card or play the card. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but yeah I mean, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, Red Blast is going to work over time. This <clears throat> for sure. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> it literally hits everything in his deck. Yeah. Ashby's not. Ashby's going to definitely bring out his uh, his null rods as well. Yeah. So his I guess. Null rods just, what does it hit your chrome box? Ooh. Yeah. So Ben's got a pr- very interesting deck, particularly given that it's being played in the vintage format. I guess yeah. my question is, how does it differ from a legacy card other than the the power and so forth? That's a good question. This is, I mean, so, you, you play that deck. What? Yeah. I've I've played it a couple times. You know, several variations. I mean, I remember I played you one time, and you were on um, Wood Gorger Dragon combo. Oh, that's right. Um, vintage. Yeah. Really, uh, I think it's the speed. You have so many ways to quickly accelerate, right. you know, a Blood Moon, whatever. The problem is against this matchup, you're not going to be trying yeah. to accelerate a Blood Moon. You're trying to hit, um, honestly, Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah. I mean, you look at it, the, the, the total cards, there aren't that many cards here that aren't, aren't in the Legacy version. There's, I mean, there's probably eight cards that are different, yeah. if that. And this mm-hmm. is basically, this is Big Red. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Red's a good deck, as it turns out. Or Red Stompy. Or Red, yeah. Dragon Stompy. With no dragons. Yep. Looks like he's got... Uh, oh, we have a cell phone, folks. <laughs> Why is he showing him his hand? Or maybe that was just... I think, I think he's, he's, sh- show he's showing camera. us, yeah. yeah. So it looks like Trinisphere, a Koth, a Mountain... We got a first turn. That's Lotus. Here we go. Is that Lotus. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's 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 going for it. I think the smartest player, if he can get it, is True like name. a true name. Yeah. 
I think true name and a uh, true name and a curse catcher. Mm, I don't even know that you want curse he didn't, catcher. He didn't play oh, Lotus. Uh-oh. that's gonna hurt, man. Well, I mean, true name won't he hurt. He did. But... Uh, he didn't cast the Lotus, so what I want to know is why. Lotus? I don't, I'm not looking. I don't see his hand right now. Yeah. Maybe he has a creatureless okay, hand. Okay, so knows? he's got a wasteland. Looks like he's got it's not a dismember. Okay, I mean, it looks like he strip mined. Uh, yeah, he, he wasted he wasted him off of They're the. They're both uh, kind of locked tomb. out right now. There's a lord, <sighs> but it costs three. Mm-hmm. Very expensive lord at last. Yeah, and that's really gonna hurt Ashby's deck. Um, okay, well he's got Cavern. two lands now. I can't see if he has a third land in his hand, but if he did, I think he has a uh, wasteland. And then it's conceivable lord. he could use the uh, black lotus right now. There's, there's, uh, unless it's a name true name, I wouldn't yeah. waste it. Because that true name is, um... True name or maybe hard cast of force. <laughs> but he's got some eight blue cards. Why do you hard cast of force in that deck? Alright, what, wait, what? That, I think that was a strip mine. Okay. Now he's, he's like casting he's a, got a lord. lord. Well, oh, you pull it back. Yeah, lord. Uh, he's got a master of waves in hand. He's probably going to jam that in there, too. Yeah. There he yeah. goes. There we go. So he's at least got the ability to start jamming stuff in there. Uh, ben used the ancient tomb, so you should be at 18. 18. Yeah, that's our bad. Whatever weird. Oh yeah, I did save. I was having trouble on eight control last, mm-hmm. but not saving nothing. I don't know. Yeah. You said keyboard wasn't in control. I guess another option would be. So uh... it looks like he's got is that a. Red Elemental Blast on the right. Looks like an Ancient Tomb. He's got an Elemental Blast in the middle. Yeah, he's got an Elemental Blast, a Koth, and that might be Fiery Confluence on the far right. All right, he just lost two two, more. Yeah, he's at 16. Uh, He's played an Ensnaring Bridge. Yep. Ensnaring Bridge is really good here. Let's see. Looks like he's fetching now. He lost another... Ashby lost, lost a life. No, that wasn't a fetch. That's he doesn't play fetches. Oh, you're right, strip mine. That was, uh, yeah, he was wasting the... Um, the ancient tomb. Yeah, so uh, Ben just took another six, and Ben's yeah. at ten. This I, could go Ashby's way. Yeah, I don't... He's got a lot going for him here. Yeah, the but only, he's got the ensnaring bridge. Like, he can dump some cards from his hand. The, the problem that Ben's going to run into here is he's got four cards in hand, and he needs to get to... He needs to dump two cards. Yes. It's very expensive, though, because of... Um, Transphere. Looks like he's got a uh, semen spe- spirit gun in his hand. He ha- does have the option of uh, killing one of the uh, one of the right, lords with a, bl- blast, with a blast. Yeah. So I think he's gonna do it here. He'll exile, exile semen spirit guide. And which one is he gonna go for? The lord. What? That's a, that's, that's a braid. I think that's that's a braid. I thought that's fiery confluence. I think mm-hmm. that's the, the, the It's like a full art version. Yeah, a braid has a printing though. It's a hell of a lot like that. I, I, it could be a braid. Uh, do we know if he plays it? He does play question. two of braids in his deck. I saw that earlier. Yeah, he does play two of braids. I think that's that. Wow, uh, that, that's, that's very interesting. Of a braid. That's a pretty cool looking a braid. Yeah. Phantasmal image copying the master. That's that's, solid, a, that's a solid play. It's a very solid play. Yeah. Let's see, he's still got the. Uh... Elemental Blast in his hand. That's Ben. But he doesn't have a land at this point. He's saving the Elemental Blast for a yeah. turn. He wants to counter that. Because he can't deal with it. Yeah. So, B, so uh, Ben's at four. Uh, which is pretty good. Yeah. Here we go. That's game. Yeah, that's All it. Right, folks. So it's game one apiece. One apiece. Going very quickly here. Not that's a that's a scary thing about. Do we have Marfolk. a time? Do we have a clock running? Um, we not really. We don't really. <laughs> we should probably start a timer. Yeah. All right. So it's been it's been twenty minutes. No. Yeah, that was the yeah, start time, minutes. and the round was one forty. Yeah. Twenty minutes minus a few minutes for us to tell them to get started. So. So. Okay. because um, I I am a roommate with Ashby, right? We room together mm-hmm. and. I've had a bunch of opportunities to play against them this week. Mm-hmm. The the thing about that Merfolk deck is it just plays so many 
yeah. dudes. No. Like, I was frequently sitting there going, do I care about a curse catcher? Yeah. Do I care about Silvergill? But, like, they're all good. They're all solid. I mean, this, no. is, this is a classic synergy deck. Is, I mean, is yeah. there another deck that exists in vintage, legacy, modern... Chet is even a thing as standard right now, right? I mean... Yeah. That does I, don't, I don't know. I mean, they just exist, like... For Merfolk? Or? Yeah. I mean, Merfolk is, is solid in vintage. It's... At least... Solid, okay, if you're talking about tribal... Fucking, if you're yeah. talking about tribal, they're absolutely the best tribe. They have enough synergies around them, and there's enough... Like, there's so many Merfolk yeah. that you can choose from. Like actually, if you wanted to change it up, it's easy to Are do. we talking about just in vintage? Because we got elves in Legacy. Well, yeah, yeah. Elves no, are, no, no. are also great, but they're no. totally different as a tribe. Yeah. Right? Merfolk kind of have synergy, and then they slowly get huge. Uh, elves, but, you just go wide. It's yeah. almost like a combo deck. Right? Right. You just it's play like, everything, yeah. almost, and then cool. crater hoof, whatever, boom, yeah. that's it. It's over. Right. Which I think is cool yeah. that both tribes function yeah, so differently. Totally. Yeah. Even look at uh, even look at um, like goblins, right? Goblins are also a very interesting tribe, but they're not nearly as strong as those other two. Yeah, yeah. it seems like Merfolk is definitely the most linear yeah. Of, yeah, yeah. of the uh, tribal decks. It's very much it's, uh, aggro creature synergy. Like yeah. it's it all flows in one direction, which yeah. is nice. I don't think yeah. it has to get enough appreciation though. I mean, particularly in. Maybe less so in vintage, but I mean it's a control deck in a lot of formats, and uh, it, it can be tough to pilot. Yeah, uh, Ashby's played it for a long so time. He plays it well. So it's like Ben's guide. down to six right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ben's on six. We got, but he's got a Simeon Spear Guide, and he's got a Blast. Yeah, that's solid. That's very solid. Um, and it looks like a couple of their lands, Curse yeah. Catcher. Yeah, yeah. We got a first turn Curse yeah. Catcher. And now all of a sudden, the next time, like when that Red Elemental Blast comes out. Yep. It's okay. Solid. Sack, pay one. It's it's a heck of a lot less good. Well, he's yeah. got two lands, so Mountains. he's not hurting too much. Tap out for Lord here. Uh oh. Nah, nah, nah. He uh, did he it. He stripped it, which is actually not a bad move because I don't think Ben's deck is particularly land heavy. No, land it's pretty, heavy. It's pretty light. Yeah. Not surprising given uh, nineteen the strategy. Yeah, I mean, Ben's running enough mocks and he's running enough other stuff. I think he's finished, but it is. I mean, this is Big Red is. He doesn't run Seething Song either, does he? Uh, no, there was no Seething Song in there. Yeah. This is not Big Red. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. This is not Big this Red. It's not the uh, combo version. Yeah. You're absolutely right. It's so like he's, he's, uh, he may have a Pyroclasm but... in his hand. I mean, if he does, it's going to be awesome here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, another silver gill. Get that card draw, man. Looks like he's stuck on a land. He's gonna go for it. Wow, that's actually not a bad idea. <coughs> bless you. Simply <coughs> bless you. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, if he's actually first catcher here, because it's, it's not action. just two damage that'll well, be coming at him. It's another card. Just kind of review here. Another. Yeah, there's another. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Wow. Yeah. No, this, wow. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, Ben's got a sweet deck. He's got 11 Mountains, 4 City Traders, 4 Ancient Tomb, uh, Ruby, Mana Crypt, and, he's got and the 2 Chrome Mox and a Lotus. It's, that seems like enough, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably enough, but there's no way that... I would... I'd call it lean. Yeah. Like, Ashby's 4 Strip... Or 4 uh, Wasteland and 1 Strip Mine. Like, that's... There's no way that's going to be a fun. Nope, oh, looks. Is that your name? No, it's Pop That's Master of Waves. Yeah, yeah, it's Master of right. Waves. Ah, oh, there's another one. The glare makes it really hard to see. I need to adjust the camera. Uh, yeah, 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 I wonder what he's copying. Oh, image. he's pointing to the Master of Waves. Yeah, number, number so three. This is a huge swing. Eight. Or is it? So it's five and uh, four. So or I nine. believe Ben is now at nine. Yeah. Oh, well, that's made that pyroclasm inert. Yeah, next turn's gonna be brutal. Yeah, that the pyroclasm is just doing nothing for him, dude. Wow, he, talk about tough. I think he needs to pop a ensnaring bridge, and that's exactly yeah, what he's done. Yeah, yep. There's where he wants to be. Now he just has to find a way to dump cards. Well, Ashby's gonna have to find a way to smaller. Yeah, make it smaller, which could be so. <laughs> tough. Everything's a four-four right now, right? So. 
First catch is 4 4. Uh, what is that? that? That's a yeah, sapphire, I'm... mock sapphire. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Ashby beats him for 4 because he can. It looks like he's, he's getting everything he can get, so Ben's at 5. Ben's going to need to find a way to cast a spell here. Yeah. Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. Okay, so they, they double check. And it looks like uh, the other lords were getting plus two, plus two, making them four fours. Ah, which right. is why they could swing it. Yes. So that's that's a win for Ashby. Wow. Nice. That's wild. That was just quick. like that. That was yeah. What was that? Turn five, turn six. Yeah, it was not long. That's yeah. Kind of, uh, Ashby Ashby's got a lot going for him. Yeah. For that deck because it's it's so quick. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's if so you're a deck that's gonna sit there and dirtle, yeah. you gotta. Like in Ben's case, he's got to hit a um, ensnaring bridge as quick as possible. Oh yeah, or a pyroclasm before yeah. it gets out of hand. I mean, oh man, wow, we'll what a match! That's we we'll get to see what they're boarded. We were all right. We got here. We were spe bridges, speculating blasts. about Ben. It looks like we were spot on on Ben. Yeah, bridges, four blasts, blasts, two bridges, cough, and a oh, pyroclasm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ashby brought in the two echoing truths. I think it's all uh, running. It looks like he didn't opt for the dismembers or. I believe no, he brought them in. Uh, I don't see him. I thought, I thought rather, I thought I had seen. Uh... In December, his hand. Yeah. yeah, I thought I had seen it. His no, hand. he runs one main, right? I believe he runs one main. Okay. So now we should. Yeah, I'll go tell him to switch over here. Go to the back. Yeah, of that game. sounds great. Very yeah, Ashby's running one dismember main. Cool. All right, so we're going to take a quick break here, and then we will get our backup match on screen. Okay, and we're back. We are picking up in the middle of a match. Uh, we've got... Great. We've got Sam Craven and Patrick Brennan. Sam is on five color stacks, and Patrick Brennan is on uh, Overseer Shops. So we need to switch these. Correct as well. I'll give you a hint. North is not any direction that is... Either of these, um, yeah, like that. I think so. so You've probably been there, given where you're from. 
wrong, but... Oh, another hint. Yeah, another hint. Okay. So, yeah, this is the middle of the match. They're at one apiece. Sam has... Um, okay. Let's say I saw a lot of mocks in there. Yeah, he's got shops into Soul Ring, into Ruby. I believe that's a Forge... Uh... Wait, what is that? I think that's Tanglewire. Yeah, that's Tanglewire. Oh, yeah. Uh, Patrick on the left, that's what, um, a Mox, what is that, Foundry Inspector, and, um... Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb, so, I believe is he's that, at 18. Got two shop sticks. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. They're one apiece so far. I believe, uh, Sam is running a smoke stick. Uh, that's Tango Wire. No, I mean, he's, he's running But I believe he has a smoke stack, stack in his he's left. He's definitely yeah. not a smoke stack in his left. It's a build. Yeah. Versus a uh, aggro kind of an aggro robots build by yeah. Patrick. Patrick's deck also gets hosed by Solemnity. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Yep, Ravager, you name it. We gotta do something with that. What in God's name is that? Stepping it for mana. So that's probably Mana Crypt, which is why I put the dice on top. So Mana Crypt. Into a Steel Overseer. Steel Overseer is going to be real nice. Into a Hangerback Walker, it looks oh, like. Yeah. A Hangerback. Or. No. No. Wait, what? What? Go game. investigate, would you? Yeah. Was game, maybe. Nice. Gain control of the uh, Soul Ring. Yeah, so, I don't or know. Or exiled it. That's a Smokestack. Smokestack is real good. Let's let's take a look here at Patrick's deck and let's see if we can figure out what that could be. Could be Revoker. Yeah, it's probably Revoker is what that is. Yeah. There we go. It's more visible now. Yeah. So that's exactly what that is. It's a Revoker naming uh, Soul Ring. There we go. Man, that's great. Turn the lights down. Help. It's a Revoker. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw it. Because I was trying to think what he could cast on two, and yeah, he's got the uh, the revoker. Yeah, it's much better with the lights turned. Here down. we go, here we go. One. He has taken three, so Patrick should be at 15. And I think Sam took three plus, uh, I believe Sam would have taken four from the swing off of um, the, uh, the inspector and the overseer. So Inspector's 3-2, isn't he? Correct. There we go. Okay, that looks right. All right, uh, tapping down. One interesting match. We got two Tangle Wars in play. What's up, fellas? Come on in. Hey, come on in. We've got Ben Kendrick joining us, who is just playing the uh, Eight Moon deck. Blood Moon Tribal. Blood Moon Tribal. That's Sam. right. Okay, so Sam corrected. Sam has indicated that Patrick is taking another three. This is stacks versus uh... overseer shops. Why is he calling it overseer shops instead of ravagers? He have ravagers in there. Yeah, he's, he's got ravager, there. but he's playing overseer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Aggro. Yeah. He's playing the uh, vintage champs list mostly. It looks like. Yeah. So it looks like he's going to take two off of the Ancient Tomb. Something for three. Which could be like any card in the deck. <laughs> Draw a card. What? Well, no, no, that was just happened now with this. The... Oh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> oh, Tangle Wire. Yeah, okay. from Tangle yeah. Wire. Okay. He's tapping two now. It's like, what's he, a Seagate wreckage? Going to get a hairback? Uh, it looks, looks like, like it could ballista. be a walking ballista, ballista yeah. yeah. For yeah. T one. Why aren't they using dice? And then a chalice. Yeah, he's going to put dice out, I think, in a second. There we go. Dice. Just for one. But so, dice on the other one. so maybe uh, that's another... Uh, wait. No, no, that's another Steel Overseer, because he used the... Uh, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Well, the, the Tangle Wire is definitely helping out Sam here. Can enlarge this? Uh, actually, go to the, the left-hand screen, the window over there. Make, make that side full screen. Ah, yep. 
Yeah, okay, that's this is going to make it easier. That is a walking ballista. It is. So yes. how do you cast the walking ballista for... Uh, I think you just forgot the counter on it. Well, how do you cast it and cast the chalice for one? Yeah, now I'm really confused. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, he couldn't float mana because it's an upkeep, upkeep trigger. Oh, he has a... Okay. Um, a what's it called? Foundry, Foundry Inspector. Foundry Inspector, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I need so... to do something here real quick. Sorry, gentlemen. Just going to... That is the downside to making that... Uh... <laughs> yeah. All right. And they are 1-1 one, one in games, right? That is correct. Left. Looks like, uh, what has Sam just done now? He's played a... We'll check here in a second. Sorry, fellas. I didn't see, they were sitting next to me, but I didn't see what happened in game one and two if they, uh, had any fun Goblin Welder shenanigans or anything like that. That looks like a Worm Coil engine. Got a Worm Coil in play now. Yeah, that's not exactly where he wants to be. Mm -hmm. Alright, it takes another three. Yeah. I'm not making it not full screen for a second. There's a lot of people in the chat. I have some questions about connectivity. I want to make sure we actually have a functioning internet connection. See any sound? Yeah, it looks... We have shitty internet here. Let me, give me a second. Let me pop right. out the chat. Can I pop it out? No. Should be able to. No, that's whispers. Uh, pop out. Yeah, there we go. Let's say no, there's an option for it. There we go. Alright. Okay, so unfortunately we lost. Yeah, whatever. Previously, but that's okay. I have flaky internet. Oh, uh, I, now I, we gotta hang I, I like that Sam has kept kept us up to date. It's 19 to 20. Thank you, Sam. Not 209, it's 20. It's yeah, Steel Over Seer is pretty good. Worm Coil Engine's pretty good too. Yeah, it looks like the internet's choking. So we have a little standoff here. So, if you're Sam with that worm coil, you gotta figure that you're kind of under duress here with it, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta do something. Well, he's definitely got more power yeah. than, more than six power swinging at him. He has, That's the thing. He has, um, he has lifelink helps. And oh, another Patrick hangar. has a active mana crib. Yeah. Which is Sam's win con right now. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I assume that Phyrexian Revoker is on Goblin Welder? Uh, oh, no, it's on no, Soul Ring. It's on Soul, Soul Ring. Ring, okay. Right. So on a side note, what's going out over here on the left screen, uh, there's about a five-second delay with what's on the right screen, so our voice is going to be synced oh, on the right screen. Yeah, yeah, we should be watching the uh, right screen. Just oh, want to mention a, that. That's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it makes it a little hard. Can only, we're, gonna, we're having <laughs> no, trouble with We can only see on the left screen. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks like a dismember on the... Uh, dismember on the worm... Oh, did he attack in, He attacked into it and dismembered. Mm. That's, mm. that's really good. You got two tokens yeah, here. One key is Sam only gains one life now. Yeah. Sam's what at twenty one, and uh, and uh, that would have cost that's Patrick cost four. Patrick right? four He's lost four lives. He's at five. Yeah, wow. It's relevant. Very relevant. That mana crypt going. Yeah, so. that's in theory a two turn clock. Oh, he just took another three. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Two. Oof, that's brutal. If you're Sam here, figure you gotta find a way to, I don't know, stop it. Or at yeah. least slow make it mm -hmm. so that he can't do twenty one to you in one he basically turn. Basically needs a board wipe. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, so ensnaring bridge, something of that along those lines, but he has too many cards in hand. It's gonna be an interesting interesting turn of events. Okay, it looks like the Tangle War is So gone. Sam's got a Dak Faden. No. Does he? Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't think that's going to save him at this point either. Well, well I mean, Dak Patrick can die the mana crypt. I mean, there's. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, you can always hope for the mana crypt to come through for you. Actually, yeah, now that you think of it, I, that's, um, that's probably going to kill him. Right, I gotta go check with Marlon. Okay. Sure, man. We will be here. He's yeah, got Dak. He's got a deck in hand. He's got a demonic tutor, but Shots he doesn't have Dak black. playing the worst enemy right there. At that, do you. Now Sam or Patrick does not have a Ravager, so he's not really. So is Sam gonna try and steal something? I think I'd try and steal a hanger back walker. But is hanger back better than say? Well, because he has the two. The ballista. 
If, mm. if he tries to steal the ballista, Patrick's going to shoot him, shoot him with it. Which is fine. Um, that's why I'm thinking you take the oh, hangar back, because yeah, then you can jump. No, I think he took, took the, the overseer. overseer. Oh. Interesting, because the overseer's tapped. Yeah. Well, I guess and, Well, I guess uh, he has more than one turn to absorb the damage. Yeah. And anything that he plays here yeah. is going to be pretty nice, too. Well, let's count it up. He Two, still has some worm four, tokens six, over there, eight, right? ten, twelve... There's 12 damage coming in next turn. It could have been higher if because he had not the, stolen uh, the steel. Overseer, yeah. If he hadn't stolen the Overseer. Overseer, great yeah. call. Four, five. Three, um, three six, okay. nine. So it's it's 12. 2 to 17, according to Sam. <laughs> oh, he still would have survived a turn if so he had yeah, stolen. We missed the life was wrong. It was five less than one down there. I got it. Mm. All right. He just updated it. Got it. Yeah, that's helpful. All right. So... He has to survive this roll here. And he does. Oh no, well yeah, oh, never mind, he's at two. Well. Okay. What's happening now? If you're Sam, you need to find a way. You need a blocker. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What's happened to the walker? Well, he has the, he has the two worm tokens up there. Those are worm tokens in the upper right. Oh, yeah. And one of those is a lifelink, yeah. which life is... Lifelink and death touch. Relevant. Yeah, that's, that's he's pretty He's got big. a tapped hangerback walker. He's going to survive this swing. So he's basically he, he should have a... Uh, what's it called? The foundry inspector out there, right? That should be the very top card yeah. for Patrick. So I think with the death touch, you kill that. And with the lifelink, you chump, what, the, the hangerback? back. Anything but the ballista, really. Yeah, I think so. Because you don't want him shooting you with the ballista, and then you don't gain the three. Right, right, right. You definitely have to block with it for the life gain. Yeah. Who would you favor in this match right now? Good Honestly, question. I would favor Sam. I would favor Sam just because Patrick's at two. Yep. Well, and that, it doesn't have that on the board. It's done. So, I mean, it's really only what, a 25% chance that Patrick lasts two turns. Two turns. Mm -hmm. Which is maybe all he needs. Yeah. Yep. If he does, I'd, he probably gets there. But Sam's, Sam's stalling and trying to uh, get that mana crypt. To, mm -hmm. Well, it's slightly better than 25%, I guess, because... Um, okay. Oh, man. Steel Overseer plus uh, okay, the Warden Token. We're signing blockers oh, yeah, sure. here. Yeah. Well, Steel Overseer's tapped. No, no, no. I'm just saying next turn. Yeah. But it looks like Sam's going to have to do some blocking now. Wait. He, he just, just swung fully into... Patrick has a creature in hand. Otherwise, he's dead with, to a swing back from the Overseer. Wait, he's blocking the Ballista, right? That could be right. Uh, no, he's blocking the Revoker uh, and the Hanger Back. And the Hanger Back. So yeah. he's going to want access to his Soul Ring Back. That makes sense. So put the Death Touch on the Revoker, I assume. Yeah, because you don't want that ballista or well, the hanger back. It's to interesting die. that he swung out. But not, what's nice is he can keep the life linker. Well, Patrick yeah. should know that uh, Sam's going to survive this turn, and I don't know what he has in his hand. He he probably has a creature, unless he's just he has hoping that, that Sam's a ham or Sam's a ham sandwich and doesn't swing back for lethal. Hand sandwich, I like that. <laughs> That's Sam's turn. <laughs> Otherwise, I think you leave back that one one hanger. So what's Sam jump, right? Six. Looks like he's That's taking five, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Uh, but he gains three as well, so he's going to take a net of five. And go yeah, 12. so go to twelve. And uh, oh man, we're being stupid because he uh, he knew he was going to have to get a hanger back walker destroyed. Oh well, right, he didn't have right, to. Right. That's the thing. I don't think I don't think again. losing the hanger back or getting basically having to deal with the Thopter tokens is a bad thing for him. Um, but they do provide chumpers right now. Yeah, <laughs> very relevant. Right now, now, if Sam had, I I would have blocked the Foundry Inspector rather than the hanger back to keep his hanger back. Yeah, but I yeah, just, just to block I haven't him. I haven't seen Sam's hand to know. Mm -hmm. See, I guess that's fair. But um, with what's showing on the however, board, however, he's probably desperate for access to that mana. If he was going to do it like that, he's got to have, yeah. he's gotta have the mana. So why not he's going to waste, you know, waste a shot. Yeah, not a bad move. Question is, why not block not sure the uh, Foundry Inspector and the Phyrexian Revoker, leave the hangar backs to swing in? That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, I don't know. 
I imagine. Well, in you hi- can't blow up both. I imagine in hindsight, right. he's like, that was a bad idea. No, yeah, we haven't seen his hands. He's but. looting now. He's probably just looking for blockers. Is that a tinker? Did I see a tinker? He's got a tinker. He's going to drop a sphinx in here. This is pretty much over. Yep. Is that what it is? That is most likely what that is. And you're going to sack... Uh, nope. That's an ancestor recall? It's an, it's an advertisement. No, don't, don't worry about it. Sorry about that. My upload speed is awful. I mean, it's... Oh, yes. we, yeah, there's another we can do. Is this, um, what are the viewers seeing? Uh, that on the left. Mm. I was saying, they were saying earlier, like, hey, we don't see video. Fucks up. Yep. Um, do we have, like, people with phones connected to the Wi Fi and something like that? Possibly like, streaming off. the music and the yeah. like, yeah. Oh, are you streaming the music? Uh, yeah, I think Patrick's streaming might want to kill that then. I think he's streaming over his might phone. Maybe just killing some of the bandwidth. But. It would still kill some of the bandwidth, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll even find out. He may just be streaming it over his phone, too. Mm. I'll ask him. Mm. Any neighbor's Wi Fi we can steal? <laughs> Sadly, there's not any better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I work from home. You'd think I'd have good Wi Fi. All right. <clears throat> we find out here. Does Patrick got it go. or not? Okay, so. And I assume he does odds hurt. I think Patrick usually does odds hurt. Well, Sam has been generous enough to indicate to us. Yeah, it's a big roll. He's rolling it up, and that's it. Ah, he, he lost. Oh, wait, he's what? No, he he's it. alive. He got, he got it. He's alive. He's alive. Okay, okay. He did not lose the roll. I assumed throwing up your hands meant you were dead, but I no, guess I think that was that celebration. Celebration. too. Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, they're the only match left going. So, so we oh, have uh, quick. Patrick has a a walking yeah. ballista. He just played a waste. Uh, two thopters. Uh, hangerback walker. And a this is an interesting position for uh, Patrick. He's got a couple thopters. He's got another hanger bag. Oh, he's stepping in it. Oh, he's pumping into the hanger bag. Or the ballista. Yeah, the ballista. Sorry, he's pump the ballista. Might as well. I'm gonna get another beverage, excuse me. Yep. We have decided you do get time extensions for beer beer runs. So shame <laughs> our uh, shame our uh, viewers can't see what's going on now, but we will try and fix this problem eventually maybe. after this game. I think part of it is the download speed on this side, so I think we're just mm-hmm. honestly we're probably using more bandwidth downloading the uh, other. Is there a whole chat? All right, so erase That's... so cut out this one. Yeah, well, it'd be that one that we want to cut out. This one's local. That one's this. This one isn't using bandwidth. It's this one that is. Oh, no, right. But nobody can see anything. Yeah. So if we, it might um, be on our side. He's saying that's screwing up the yeah. stream over there. So, so this one is the local people, stream. People in the chat, is it is it uh, uploading fine for you guys or? Let me just ask that. Oh, it's the wrong damn. Oh, I haven't seen anything, any commentary right now. Yeah, no. Yeah, I haven't. What's it doing? That's fun. How many people do you have on right now? There were about five or six people chatting earlier. Yeah, there were a few. I haven't seen any commentary on that, on that for a while. A while. Yeah. And it was going pretty fast before we switched it over. Yeah. yeah. Is, there any way can, is there any way we can check? Yeah, we can... Okay, so it looks like it looks like Patrick swung and left his hanger back back wisely this one, uh, to um, absorb a hit. Well, something just happened there. That Sam rolling for mana crypt. You have one. Too. Yeah, he has one as well. Okay. Looks like Sam has one chump blocker left. Oh, he just cast his Triskelion. 
Scaling seems pretty good. And uh, that should be it, right? You should be able to just uh, shoot Patrick twice. Did they count out the mana? I'm not sure what they're discussing. But... Right. Yeah, Sam just shot him with just Kellyan. Looks like we got Sam in uh in three games. Well, no, they're still doing stuff. Oh, uh, Patrick souped up his cards. It looks like. Yeah, we got yeah. Sam in three games. All right, so let's update these. Uh. We'll be back here in a bit. Uh, basically, we're going to next roundup. I don't know who's playing next. And, uh, yeah. I think so. Wiley Vintage. Yeah. We're, we're, uh, we have the stream up to the side, so we can try. But we're not sure if... Uh, so maximizing it's it, been make, choppy, make it full but yeah. to make it really bad. So we'll yeah, I wonder if it was our up. problem on the download end. Oh, but now it's frozen again, so... Yeah, it might be us downloading. Yeah. But... Sometimes it's tough to see on the small little streaming screen here. Can we just maximize that? Is that? Yeah, I wonder if we can like just not do video. Or ch turn down the uh, video quality. Well, the point we had that up was to see the cards a little better. If we pause this, can we still do chat? You want to mute? Probably. Oh yeah, we should probably just mute. Alright, uh, well, anyway. Um, we'll be back. That was the last match, that's the end of round two. We'll... Uh, We'll get back to you in a second. We'll, we'll try to fix our... Pop off and uh, be back up with round three in a few minutes. 2.40, 2.45? Time is it? Uh, it's 2.30. Yeah, call it 2.40. Probably be back around 2.40. Thanks, guys. That's the island. That's the volcano. There's that. Let me make mm -hmm. it a satellite. Hold on, be more obvious. Um, That's all right. Just come on. Seriously, give me a satellite. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah.
Um, it's not in there. It's actually, um, hold on one second. I'll get it for you. I'm going to adjust this. All right, folks. Uh, we are not going to come back at 240. We're going to come back at 250 because we're alcoholics and we need beer. So there's that. Why well, can't Windows have them built in? Why do people have to use Notepad? Notepad is evil. Don't you know that? I don't know how to use a computer when it doesn't have BIM bindings. Come on. 250. There we go. All right. Back soon. Fuck Dallas, Hell Satan, and all that. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the, the mic note. Let me see if I can figure out how to adjust the mic. My, not my laptop. Uh, there we go. All right. Less hot mic now. Yeah, that seems to be a bit better. Okay. Cool. I do not. Actually, I might have a foil, but it's probably going to take longer to find than it's worth. Because that enough. card's 10 cents. Fair enough. Fucking Joe.
Okay, I think, yeah. Okay, welcome. Um, nope. Mike, <laughs> Mike. Oh, you're Mike, right here. Which one? <laughs> then that means there you're silent. Okay. 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 I think that's it's right. to unmute it, though. But oh well. We're, yeah, Mike. Uh, and do. I'm gonna go check. Oh, fuck. I unclick. I think we're good. Desktop audio. Desktop audio, audio too? should be like. Just turn it all on. There okay. Because that should be okay. like noises coming from the the computer, right? Right. Okay. okay. Do we need that? I think we're good. We're live. Okay. Um. Right. Patrick go. I don't know. <laughs> uh, All right, so... Uh, yeah, hey everybody, welcome to round three. Uh, seems like we have... Who do we have? Patrick Vincent on Rector Show versus Chad Moss on Solemn Rector. So it's going to be like a mirror match, almost. I think the two deck lists are a little bit different. Maybe we'll take a little bit of quite, time and look at Quite different. Them. Oh, okay. So the, um, the Rector Show, he's he's got, I think, three... Well, let's pull mm -hmm. up the deck list. Can you do sure. that? Sure. Rector Show is going to be P. Vincent's list. Oh, right here. All right, so you can see he's got the um, show and tell for the big awesome spells like uh, Omniscience, Yog, Yog Bargain, a um, couple big fatty creatures. Where right. that? See an Evercool and a Grizzlebrand there. Yeah. yeah. And so what, like three show and tells, three Rectors, three Cabal Therapies. Um, notably Absence, Mendel Missteps. I played against him last round and he was mentioning, does that mean anything? Uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll just keep talking okay, as yeah, if yeah, it doesn't yeah. mean anything. Oh, act as if. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting deck list. Kind of like a smattering of funny one ofs. Like yeah. Flusterstorm. Um, obviously, the restricted cards, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess, yeah, it's, I guess, like on, on paper, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it, it, it actually it looks like a really sweet deck. Oh, um, for sure. I'm glad, I'm glad this one's here. Yeah. No, and like I think if any problems this deck might have, it would probably be just because, like, there's too many things going on at once, but yeah, maybe a little bit of a identity crisis. Right, but if it's firing on all cylinders, I think this is a yeah. pretty sweet deck for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look at Chad's deck. So Chad is going to be on a similar deck. So we've got four rectors, four therapies, up from three and three in P. Vincent's deck. And it looks like he's not playing any show and tells, opting for the full playset of Mystic Remora. Yeah. What? Yeah, Mystic Remora. Um, it it can draw you an insane amount of cards um, just because there's so many non-creature spells in, in Vintage. Um, okay, I don't think it's actually an overlay that shows. Okay. All right, um, hold on. Oh, I can do this. There we go. There so we Mystic go. Remora, yeah. Um, so notably, and I actually played against him round one, I found this out, but... Cumulative upkeep adds like those age counters, mm -hmm. and so the deck is called Solemn Rector because he's playing two copies of Solemnity. Right. With that in play, Rector, or not Rector, excuse me, Remora just doesn't get any counters at all. Never right. has to play the upkeep. It pay just the upkeep stays in it. play. You yeah. don't have to pay for shit. Yeah. And so like I start playing spells against it. And so. you can just you can have multiple in play. Mm -hmm. That should be legendary. Right. <laughs> this is too good, you guys. This, is, this should be legendary. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, Keep in mind that so it does cost one, and uh, there are some um, middle missteps on the other side of the table. That's true, and I do think I saw some middle missteps in his list. Yeah, I see two right here. Oh, uh, actually, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. There are no middle missteps in um, in Patrick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good chance that that's going to resolve. Yeah, and so these seem pretty sweet. Obviously, the pretty typical um, Academy Rectors, four therapies, and just these big enchantments of what Yog Bargain, Omniscience, mm -hmm. Solemnity. And then some pretty typical like Tinker, Sphinx of the Steel Wind package. Yeah. With both of them, is that the single target for Rector? Is Omniscience and Yog Yogg's Moth Bargain? So it looks like Chad is also playing two copies of Solemnity. Oh, yeah. Solemnity. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. yeah. yeah, right. And, um, um, and let me take a look at Pete Patrick's. Vincent. Yeah, Patrick's got two Omniscience, one Yog Bargain. No. That is all yeah, I can say. That's, that's it. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I mean, Omniscience is. Probably good enough to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess Jack could even get the remoras, though. I don't really yeah. see a situation. Oh, yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. 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 Good point. Opponent yeah. has misstep. No, we get around that. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> so, what do you, what do you guys think is the key in this uh, semi mirror match? Who goes um, first? 
<laughs> so, Maybe play draw. No. Um, play draw is obviously a big deal. Um, I think the big thing that I'm kind of worried about is show and tells are just kind of a huge liability. Yeah. 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 And so you probably like, want to side those out uh, post board. I would, I would, think I would so. too. Yeah. And he's playing like three of them, but it's like you show and tell, and like even if like you put in like an omniscience, if the opponent does the same thing. Or even like an academy rector and then flashback therapy on their turn. Like, if you don't kill them right then and there, right. you're just like, okay, take a shot at me. Right. Yeah. And so, obviously, it's a very powerful card, but I don't know. If it's played the way it's meant to be played, so might would you like me to let them know, players, we're good to go? Yeah. We good? Welcome yeah, to round let's three. Do it. Okay, I'll let it know. Woo! Get started. It's game time. <laughs> Do not spill the beer directly into that fan. <laughs> right? I mean, that's or, like worst worst case scenario, right? Or, or anywhere for that matter. That's, and so for that reason, I'm gonna take that beer and put it around there. Is that yours or Patrick's? That's Patrick's. Oh, okay. You got it. All right. Okay. Alrighty. So we are live, and at any moment they should be starting up. Looks like they've drawn their sevens. I want to say P. Vincent's on the play. Hmm. Yeah. And so, I don't really know what to expect out of this. Obviously, play is going to be a very big All deal. Right, so, in hand. Mm -hmm. Patrick's going to leave with an underground C, pass the turn. No cantrips, like no a, therapy. Oh, lots of, lots of moxing coming down. <laughs> Storm counted too. <laughs> Do we have a little thing for that? We can uh, yeah. Stream. Ding, <laughs> yeah. Ding. Yeah. Right. We got it. No, it's right there. Is that jet and emeralds? Okay, that's a jet. Just, what the? Therapy targeting Vincent, and Ooh, so in the blind. Yeah. Ooh, Buster storm. Buster storm. That's interesting. Hmm. So we did need the storm counter. <laughs> Oh my god, we're too good oh, for ourselves. This is too. life imitating just, art. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think. Oh wow, he's just going for it. Oh wow. Job. This that's is risky. Yeah. yeah. That's risky. I like it. So, I mean, if so Chad. I changed the life total. Oh, right, right, right. Patrick took two. Patrick is going to go to 18. So, if. What is this keyboard? That's so stupid. Why? Why? Where'd you get this? The kids' department? Like. Yeah. It's, he's a me <laughs> mechanical. All right, so all Chad was... has is a land. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, I was really surprised by that. I thought if Chad puts in the Academy Rector, he just flashes the back therapy next turn, gets yeah. his own omniscience. This is good. Yeah. This is yeah. good for Patrick. Yeah. That was, I think that was immediately risky for Patrick, but it looks like it's paying off. Yeah, yeah. immediately draw seven. Uh, did he draw seven? Yes. Yeah, looks okay, like so, it. Okay, uh, so change the life total down to 11. You are much better at this than I am. Right, so Patrick Vincent's going to go down to 11. What did we see in there? I see a flash, a library, a gush, maybe is some other stuff in there? doing it again? Wow. Mm -hmm. So Wait, did he did he actually do it the first time? He did. Okay. So he's got 14, I'm pretty like, sure. 18 that's a, cards that's in a hand. a lot of cards in hand. Oops. So. I see a Lotus. Um, is that a... Flash on top. Or a Merchant Scroll? That's Merchant Scroll, Scroll on top, oh, yeah. Geez. So what is that, like 20 cards in hand now? Well, yeah. There's a Lotus. I, it's, it's pretty good. I, I don't see him losing this game. Sapphire, <laughs> Lotus. Oh. Ruby. All right. <laughs> the library seems pretty good here, too. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he's even going to need it at this point. Yeah. So what do you do right here? Oh, Flash. Interesting. Oh, so that's going to put the Rector into play, and then he's going to sacrifice immediately by not paying the two. Right. Get on missions. Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. he's got so many cards Rector, in the end. He's just going to be able to... Omniscience. Does he... Is Grizzlebrand... Or excuse me, is uh, Emrakul main for Patrick? Emrakul is main. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if he has a way to find it or cast it, that's game on the spot. I think with Merchant Scroll to get Ancestral, I think there's very small chance he doesn't. Or maybe find. just Time Walk here. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I can't get can't get it with Merchant Scroll, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, here we are, just like spitballing yeah. ways he can win the game at this point. I think. So what are the ways he loses? <laughs> in his hand. Uh, I see a preordain, a gush. Some other... Is that Yogg's Will? That is Yogg... I think that's a Yogg Will. All the way second from the left? Third from the yeah, left? From yeah. The left. And then maybe like a D tutor in there. So yeah. Merchant Scroll. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like regardless of what you... However you win, it should be a Time Walk? Ooh, Ooh gifts. Yeah. Oh. 
So pull, pull oh, up Gifts so, on Given. <laughs> so you pull up Gifts on Given. Gifts on Given, yeah. So um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this one. Uh, Mom, if you're watching, this this is a very hard card to play. Hard card to resolve. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it resolves, it's like there's a lot of decisions to be made. Um, pretty skill intensive, and actually, it's even more skill intensive on your opponent, um, just because it puts some of their fate in their own hands. Wow. Yeah. What was what was that that he just played? It looks like a demonic tutor. Oh Is yeah. That Imperials. Oh, I see. It's gonna cast the Ember Cool. Just take an extra turn. Is yeah. your mom actually watching this? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I, I sent her the link. Oh, sweet. Tomorrow. Yeah. She watched yeah. last That's time. awesome. Okay, so yeah, Patrick's going to take game one right, right. here. Right. Jet's seen enough. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so. Is there, so. A, is there a game. A game score? Game score? I don't know. This is going to go back up to 20. Yeah, Patrick's going to win game one. Um, I guess what we see here is what it is, so maybe not. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just put a note right here. One game one. Yeah, you might be able to just add it in. So, maybe under erector should Yeah, under, yeah, it's enter and then, there you go. There we go. Yeah, there you go. so that's sweet. So Patrick's going to take game one. Let's take a look at these sideboards real quick. I want to see, what do you guys think there's going to be coming, what do you think is going to be coming in here? I mean, it's what we talked about earlier. Does Patrick take out the show and tells? Mm -hmm. I think... And it, he got away with well, one. Yeah. <laughs> he did get away with it, though. It is, um, yeah. So, yeah, maybe see that come out. Um, uh, so I'm looking at Chad's sideboard right now. I guess, yeah, we'll talk about Patrick's first. Um, yeah, show and tells probably come out. Three of them, that's quite a few. What's coming in, then? I think Flusterstorm. I think if, if show and tell comes out, then you might as well pull the um, Omniscient and maybe some of the big creatures, too. He's actually got two Omniscients. I didn't realize right. that. Maybe yeah. you leave maybe in one for the Rector. One for Rector. Right. Hmm. What do you like in the board to bring in, though? And that's a really Besides, good question. So Fluster Storm, yeah. maybe Mind Break Trap. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, definitely Mind Break Trap. Yeah. And the Ley Line doesn't really do anything. Cavern, actually, that might be good. You know what? Ley Lines, I think they do come in. Because they stop Cabal Therapies from going to the graveyard. Ooh. And if that's the case, it's, oh, very, diff huge. it's very okay. difficult to kill your own Rector. Especially in a match like this, there aren't a lot of creatures swinging. That is... That's a very good... Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I, I see which I see how you feel about it. I kind of feel the same way. It's not great, but it's also like I definitely feel the show and tells come out here, especially when you're going from the play to the draw. Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you've convinced me um, on ley lines. Just yeah. not being able to to, to to combo off with with therapy, I think, is, is huge. Mm -hmm. Cavern maybe coming in just to because uh, you know he's going to bring in some more counter spells. Oh yeah, I guess like blue decks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's gonna be really good do. there. Yeah, yeah. And it's, maybe maybe even Campbell. I don't know. How good that guy is? Yeah, and then on the draw, you might take out your tomb for, for Cavern. Mm. Campbell, I don't know if it's... Well, it might be okay. I don't think that's necessarily... Well... Hmm. There's no option to just pull up the card. Alright, so we're going to put our faces on camera for a second. There you go. Yeah. Campbell, console of allocation. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, the loses two life and you gain two life. Really mm. good against obviously like broken combo storm and, mm. and stuff like that, but pretty much in vintage everything's kind of like storm or they're just, they're just <laughs> casting so many spells per turn. Yeah, no, I mean like you're definitely just kind of like cycling through preordains and cantripping yeah. over and over again. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he brings it in. I'm not thrilled about it, but yeah, if if it does if it does come in, I'm not like whoa, what is this doing in we here? Should probably check the yeah, here. check the match. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Looks like the sideboarding. So take a look so at Chad's a... sideboard real quick. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh gosh. So, uh, containment priests have to come in, right? You lose the show until game one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking he brings it in, but that's probably he. Ooh, this is a little. Uh... Little mind games. Yeah. Little mind like games. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you? You know, it's a question. Do you think as Chad that he keeps in the show and tells? I played against him round one. He was three shots in then. Sure. Yeah. I think they come in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that they would come in. Mm hmm And then it's like, what does he cut? It's kind Again, of an interesting you question. Could, you could you could talk about the same ley, ley lines as well, right? It's yeah. For the, for the same reason. And if ley lines come in, that helm comes in definitely. Oh, God, absolutely. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just win games. Uh, yeah. There are yeah. fewer beautiful um, things in magic. I, th I don't know. Obviously so moats are gonna aren't gonna be coming in, but uh Inkwell. So if you think your opponent's gonna keep those show and tells in, bring in the inkwell. Mm -hmm. Give you some beef. 
It's also a sweet Tinker target. Like, as much as I love Sphinx of the Steel Wind, it yeah. kind of folds to Grizzlebrand. Yeah. Yeah. Although, Inky's what's, not too great either. What's, what's, the, what's the power and toughness on Inkwell? 7-Eleven. <laughs> much like your favorite convenience <laughs> the only, store. The, <laughs> the only creature in Magic is a 7-Eleven. There you go. <laughs> so convenient. Um, yeah, gosh. I'm really curious to see. Yeah. Yeah, check the match. Let's see. Oh, right, right, right. Looks like they're still going at it. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, sideboard plan's kind of variable. I think the only thing i really like to see was Leyland and the Void coming in for both people. And then, obviously, Helm of uh, Obedience? Domination? Helm of Obedience. Helm of Obedience coming in for Chad. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this will be interesting. There's a lot of, like, finagling and maneuvering to do in this one. Um, I really like Ball Therapy as a magic card, so this will be good. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, listen to a, a podcast all on the the card couple therapy with um, R R R Rodrigo Togores. Yes, yeah. that the storm guy. Yeah, storm yeah. guy. Yeah, I've heard he's pretty good. He, he's uh, really good. won that, a GP. Uh, God, what was that Prague? That Prague GP that he won mm -hmm. against Miracles pre pre band. Pre top band. Oh yeah, dude, he was just. They're ready to draw. All right. Yeah. Okay. All okay. Right. You're on your match. Yeah. Oh, all draws right. and like draw. Patrick. Gotcha. So it looks okay. like Patrick's got a. Uh, uh, Monastery Mentor in hand, and some uh, some good blue cards. Looks like a um, oh Force of Will. I see what Force of Will, Intuition, Monastery Mentor, Black Lotus, and Is then Flusterstorm, Mana Crypt. Mentor? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. a mentor in there. So you you keep that right? It's six mana on turn one, but it's it's just Crypt as well. Oh, there's a flash. Hmm. I didn't get a good look at Chad's hand. Did you? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, he's going to send it back, yeah, so... It back. Yeah. And, wow, this is interesting. I think... That is not an intuition. That's a flash. Okay. So, yeah. I, I think if you're... Patrick, you just keep this one on the... On the basis of having a threat that's difficult to deal with and counter magic. Yeah. yeah. Forcible... Yeah, forcible pitches flash. You just go turn one, like, underground sea, lotus, play the mentor, pass turn. And then if Chad ever tries to do anything, you just counter it, and hopefully Monk tokens get there. Yeah, yeah, seems pretty strong. Like I said it's a very strong opening. Here. Yeah, we'll have to see where um <laughs> where Chad gets here. It's gonna be hard to combat that. Honestly. Right. I know Chad's playing a couple of swords, the Plowshares, as well as a. So is he is a priest? Solemnity. Oh, it's solemnity. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> solemnity. <laughs> uh, Chad agrees with us. Yeah, he yeah. likes that. Solemnity, yeah. swords, and that's plowshares. That's a Mox jet on top, I believe. He's sure. considering keeping that. Yeah. Sure. There Keep you go. It. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so it looks like Chad's going to start this one off. Ooh, Layla. Oh, pre-game yeah. effects. So that's a All good right. one, but it doesn't look like it's going to... All right, storm count at one. All right, pass <laughs> the turn. Storm burn. Another forceful for Patrick. That's going to be a really good draw. Did you just say storm burn? Yeah, <laughs> storm burn. It's too, it's too life for a storm uh, you leave on the table. Wow. All right. Trigger. Is well, that, is that well, is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so he's going to get his own guy. All right. Yeah. It looks like Chad has a time walk in hand, but no lands. Oh, so did he miss the trigger? No. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right. what, what a great... Right. What a, oh, yeah, what a see, great guy here. Finnish people are the best people. <laughs> Chad with the, the good guy, Monk Token. So, yeah, I think... What was Patrick holding? Two forces, a flash, and a fluster storm? I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so Chad's going to find his white. He does have access to Swords of Plowshares, but if he goes for this, it's going to get fluster storms. And then Patrick's going to get another token off of that. Sure. What do you guys think of running out this uh, mana crypt right here? Is there, is there a point to it? I feel like you're just kind of nugging yourself for three every yeah, turn. Yeah, maybe, maybe save that for turn three or four-ish. Yeah, or if you're playing something with it. Is he taking damage off of that? Looks like he's good. He didn't move for his life pad. So okay. he's going to stay at 20. Combat swings. Ooh. Yeah, I, I guess that's the answer to the question there. It just he, he wanted to put a Swords. clock in. Is that? Swords, Swords of Plowshares. That's like a judge promo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Bloody <laughs> duh. <laughs> no, that's, that's, uh, that's fancy people's cards. We don't have those. Ours are all white border and heavily played. Fluster right, Storm so, going to come out for Patrick Vincent. Yeah. Storm count one, two? Yeah, yeah so he would have be... to deal with two copies. There you go. Yeah. Um, looks like that, that Swords is going to get 
countered, I believe. Still mm-hmm. on the stack. The spear guides from Chad. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. Swords of Plasher is countered. I think you're supposed to play that on your turn, just to avoid the prowess triggers. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Definitely um, agreed. I mean, yeah. we're up here. Think, we can see everyone's hands. Y- yeah. So. But yeah, it looks like that's going to be five damage coming in, three and two. Chad's going to fall down to 15. Yep. And then Patrick's going to pass it back. Yeah, poor Chad. Looks like he's stuck in kind of a rough place here. Was that green and white mana available? Yeah. So, I think they're doing odds or damage. So there's going to be three damage coming in to Patrick. He's going to go to 17. Yep. Yeah. I mean, what, is, what does Chad need to get out of this? You know? I guess some kind of like rector, cabal therapy, something nonsense. He's got a combo. Basically. Yeah, he's just yeah. got to go off. Yeah. Oh, therapy coming out from Patrick Vincent. Uh, wait, do we have a trigger? Yeah. What do you name here? I think I think you name Academy Rector. This is one of the cards you don't have the mana. Like Chad doesn't have the mana for. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the only ways he loses. Oh, <laughs> God bless that solemnity. I'm all solemnity preordained. Yep. Yeah. So, looks like whatever he named it was not therapy, ponder, time walk, or solemnity. But I can't imagine Patrick minding too much. He's got an active mentor on the board. Yeah. You see Gus in the corner down there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little little <laughs> Gus dog. Yeah, we have a lot of dogs running around here today. Oh, on the, it was on camera? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See oh, him going underneath the table. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Narrowly missing that beer. Yeah. 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 dog is staying very close to his feet. <laughs> no, guys, we are... We are pri- oh, there he is. A little, little tyke. We were primarily a dog stream and secondarily a vintage stream. <laughs> really, this is a dog cast and there just happened to be a match oh, tournament that sprouted yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think we should move the table off next round. We can just watch the dogs. Seems, seems reasonable. Yeah, so it looks like he's coming in for, was that one, two? He's got one. Seven damage? Three, yep. two, and two. Yeah. yeah. So, wow, Chad's going to fall in at eight. And if he doesn't find a way out of this this turn. Yeah, he's, it's, it's, uh, it's basically, a it's a one turn clock. Yeah. So um, moat. If, if Chad brought, brought, if brought it in. in yeah. Wow. I do not see what he did. Oh, he drew a land. Yeah, uh, he's got a ponder there, right? But he drew the fetch, I think, right? The yeah, I think yeah. he drew the fetch. Otherwise, yeah. he would have run it out the turn before. Yeah, he drew yeah. the fluid and downside. Mm. But yeah, I think is, a couple is of that a, the second card is that a ponder? Yeah. yeah. So I think like Delta yeah. Ponder Therapy. Is that a probe? No, it's a time walk. I think you just gotta go for the time walk here, but yeah. Patrick yeah. might just force will this. Just I can't imagine he's afraid of too much else at this point. And actually I think he wants Chad would rather have the time walk countered instead of the, the ponder. So I think he should run sure. the time walk out first. Um just ponder gives him four shots at a at a moat if he brought it in, which right. I think is his only out. I don't think he has actually gonna be able to get in play. Yeah, he needs the, the double blue. Mana. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think yep. maybe you bait with the ponder here. Then you can't walk, right? So yeah, yeah. those mulligans yeah. were tough on him. Sure. Um, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah, having that Swords of Plowshares was really his only lifeline. But I don't know. Maybe maybe Patrick will not swing. Known to happen. <laughs> I don't know. Patrick's a pretty good magic player. Hey, you gotta yeah. play to your opponent's house, right? <laughs> Present company excluded. <laughs> Jeez. Fair enough. Fair enough. You guys, what happened up here? Uh, so next time, put the one game two on the same line as as the deck name. So maybe we just move it up here. Yeah. There you go. Like that. Yeah, I could have sworn it was up there earlier, but maybe not. In any case, yeah, so I think Time Walk and then Force Pitching Force. Patrick's going to take three off of that. He's going to go 14, but I think four is as good as 20 is as good as one at this point. Yeah. We should just close out the game right here. Oh, look at that. Top Deck Library. That uh, $700 wastes right there. The body language on Chad is uh, not good. Yeah. And he, yeah, I think he knows I like it. it's done. <laughs> Is that the flash? Don't put in anything. Trigger prowess. There you go. Yeah. Wow. And that's the match. Okay. So that is it. All right. Convincing. I will go check on our um, backup. Our backup match. Yeah. See yeah. where they're at. Cool. Wow. So Patrick's gonna win that game. He's gonna go up to one and two. Um, kind of a convincing defeat, right? Or kind of convincing victory right there. I'm a little bit surprised. He's 
Oh, and two. <laughs> yeah. Um, just looking at that, you're like, how does this deck lose? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the variance in, in Vintage Magic. Sure. Um, what's kind of interesting is, like, these games were very, like, unconventional almost. Like, I want to say the, the, the plan A, um, and I'm not too familiar with these lists, correct me if I'm wrong, but the plan A for these decks looks to be Cabal Therapy with Academy Rector, Cheat Out of Giant Enchantment. Yes. Yeah. I didn't see a Rector in either of those games. Like at all. Not in play, not in hand. Yeah, yeah. Rector, yeah, Rector actually didn't show up. The, the most played non-land card in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so fucking weird. We've got a fantastic meta going on here. Yeah, what is it? First place, Missions Workshop. Second place, Academy Rector. <laughs> so weird, man. There's, what, uh, seven copies? That's four and three? Yeah, four and... Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty sweet. We've got a great spread of decks here. Yeah, so uh, for you for you guys and girls that are, that are watching that don't really follow Vintage Magic, this is not your stereotypical kind of <laughs> tournament. The People are bringing fun decks and uh, kind of off-wall stuff, like their pet decks. Um... Yeah, so speaking of which, okay. our, our backup match is also finished. Okay. But what oh, wow. we do have is Ashby on Merfolk okay. versus Nick on Oath. So they just finished their game one. Are they going to slide over? Yeah, awesome. they're going to slide into the awesome. future match. Who, who won game one? Nick got it on okay. Oath. So the um, backup, backup match. Yeah. Backup, yeah. backup, backup, backup. Back yeah. So we'll be looking at <laughs> Merfolk. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so the fish versus Grizzle Daddy. Wow. Yeah. That definitely seems favored for Oath. So I, I think so. Yeah. Like, what is, what is the game plan for Merfolk there? Just keep them off of Oath? Uh, yeah, I think you... Oh, man, it's hard, though. Um, I guess you try to keep them off Oath, and then... I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're feeling really cheeky, you can Phantasmalmage to... Copy their grizzle brand. I know. Yeah. Because you got to get threats down at some point. Sure. It um, seems really rough, though. Yeah, it seems, sure. seems pretty tough. Yeah. And you just try to keep them off Oath. You can maybe go try to cut them on mana a little bit. I mm. think he's running Wastelands. Let's take a look at his list. Oh, yeah. Maybe that'll give us a little bit For more For sure. Insight. Yeah. Um, I'm a little bit more familiar with the legacy version of this deck, but... Uh... Okay. Tribe called Best. <laughs> That's a great deck name right there. Echoing Truth seems fantastic. Echoing yeah. Truth is fantastic. Yeah. And it seems like he's got the four cages in the sideboard, which is going to be really good. Yeah, cages will be good. Mm -hmm. So he'll he'll have a little bit better of a matchup here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how heavy Nick is on artifact mana, but the Hercules could be good too, just in terms of cutting him off some of his mass mana. Yeah. If you can slow Oath down, it, it helps a ton, um, especially with those four wastelands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, Ashby probably wants to be at the original deck he submitted with 11, uh, 11 strip mines. 11 strip mines. <laughs> <laughs> so for you, for you at home, uh, strip mine is a restricted card that's... Um, yeah, if you could... If very you could, good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Um, yeah. Only one copy is allowed per deck, hence yeah. the restricted. And so when he submitted his deck the first time, he had some sort of deck registration error. I wrote down the wrong card name. I think he meant to put 11 islands... Uh, ten, oh, islands, ten islands. Ten islands, one strip, mine, one strip yeah. mine. Okay, so then it turned into ten strip mines and one strip mine. Two, ten plus one. And then when you factor in the uh, the four wasteland, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can't cast any of his creatures, but eh, does he have to? Well, he's got the, the mocks in the, in the, <laughs> the caverns. Oh, and the caverns, and the caverns, too. That's true. That's so true. It could be like mono brown Murpho. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah. All right, let's I'm take a look at... Uh, I'm good, thank you. Let's take a look at Nick's deck over here. You um, might want the dismembers too, since he is on the lab band version. So that's a good yeah, point. That can, yeah, yeah, that can yeah. really shut that down. So here's a like a like almost a more meta question for you. Um, sure. How much do you think people are paying attention to other stack lists? Here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, no, like at, at this tournament in particular, because all deck lists went up on Wednesday. Yes. Um, I know personally that I only gave them a cursory glance. Sure. Um, I didn't. I didn't look at them too hard at all. Yeah. More or less, just what are people playing? Right. Um, exactly. I, I did make a a meta game call of going really light on um, graveyard hate. Yeah. I I only ran four cages, <laughs> um, just because I didn't think anyone really, when we're kind of playing for fun, would want to run would want to run dredge. Um, mm -hmm. 
we don't really have the the people who are trying to spike the tournament. So it would have been an incredibly good metagame call oh, absolutely. for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go to, um, the, go to the match. Oh, are they starting? Oh, they're going. Yeah. All right. All right, so we're hopping all right, right into it. It's going to be, whoops, it was all over the place. Okay, okay. All right, we have on the left, turn Nick Patton. And Sapphire with no second turn. Okay, and library active for Nick. Do we know who was on the play? Uh, okay, yeah, Ashby, obviously. Nick one. Nick one. So he's got a, yeah, so he's got a library on the draw. Looks like he's drawn. Oh, best. <laughs> so I want this to be immortalized on the stream record forever. I hate this keyboard. I don't yeah, understand it's, it. It's, it's so, it's, it's so tight. My hands feel so big I when know. I'm typing on this. <laughs> it's, well, I'm not going to make a joke. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> something like sex with a midget or something like that. Okay. Nugget porn. Got it. All right. No. Somebody flagged this not safe for work, so Twitch doesn't... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, and we said Nick got game one? He did. All right, so we're going to put one game one over here. All right. Yeah. So, got a Lord in for two. Yeah. Or Chris Ketcher getting in for two yep. off the Lord. Yeah. So, we have our resident merfolk expert sitting with us. Hey! Tim Everett. Tim Everett. Yes. I've had a, I had a lot of I, I really like the deck in Vintage. Um, it it basically does what it does in every other format, where it just turns dudes sideways. Um, you get a little boost from some power, and um, so little, how do you how do you feel about your oath matchup? It's actually really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think I've ever beat Nick um, while playing Merfolk when he's on uh, oath. Um, it's just they they have more counter spells to power their stuff through. And, um, you, and you really can't do anything without your threats. Right. Yeah. Um, so you can shore that up with some... Um, I know that Ashby has the two um, Echoing Truth in the sideboard. That's one of my favorite cards. It's just a catch-all for everything. So he probably brought those in. Um, yeah, I would think he brings in the Echoing Truth. I was saying the Dismembers might be good, too. since Because uh, of the lab. Nick is on lab. Now. Yeah. Um, but that's not going to help too much against Grizzlebrand. And there's, there's Oath. Not what he wants to see. No. He does have the force. force. Looks like Nick, Nick surely Nick has one. But if I'm Nick, I don't fight back on this. Because that curse catch is looking real dangerous right now. Yep. Oh, wow. He does. Wow. Yeah, maybe let's, let's see if Ashby remains. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, are we allowed to be biased? Is that it? Well, I mean... No, yeah. Yeah. Underdog, always. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, no, you sure. got to root for yeah. her folks. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Putting up the good fight. I respect that. All right, so it looks like, yeah, Force Will's down. Oath is going to be down. Yeah. Pass back to Ashby. And basically, oh, if Nick doesn't ever resolve an Oath, oh, he no, just doesn't win. Off, yeah, um, yeah it, I want to say... He's not... Like he doesn't 18? have show and tells. Um, he just really can't do anything. The, the Oath resolving is crucial for yeah. Nick. Too. Yeah, and I do see an engineer explosives. Wow, he just drew Grizzlebrand. That's uh, not where you want to be. No, it is not. Yeah. Yeah. And EE. -E. You don't want that card in hand. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that uh, engineer explosive actually could do some work. Um, pretty much everything that you care about in this deck is a, is a is two. Is a two. And he has it with the orchard and the, uh, yeah. and the trop now. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I, so I the feel cavern, like, cavern's nice here. Cavern is fantastic. Yeah. I think if you're Nick, you want to run out that engineer explosives last turn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some more cards. He's got another master in hand. He's gonna draw off the trigger. Yeah. And in for five. Yeah, five damage coming in hot. Nick's gonna fall to eleven. Got to race him here. Yeah, I think Get, if he yeah, getting that first or oath out of the way is huge. Mm-hmm. He just needs to keep it off the board now. Yeah. What was that? I cannot see that. That's got to be a vamp tutor, right? Yeah. What else are you playing at this time? Yep. Yeah, that's a vamp this tutor. is in step. He's playing it. What do you think he gets? It's so got to be some sort of mana source, yeah, right? Um, I think another oath is too slow. Ashby wins on the crackback. He's got to he find does. a way yeah. to. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's apple juice, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so this is... It's... No, I don't think he gets a mana source just because he, he has enough to, to play the EE with the, the, the dual land and the, and the uh, orchard. 
I, but he can't pop it. That's uh, the problem. That looks like it might be a toxic deluge. Yeah. He's considering getting, which would be another backup just in case his EE gets countered. Right. And the I apple think, juice has arrived in the I can't. Booth. I can't do whiskey, man. Uh, Brown that, liquor it's, it's, and me. It's no. bourbon. It's okay. Uh, no, I, whiskey, it's all whiskey, man. I, I can't do it. All. I appreciate <laughs> it. Come on, man. I, I, I really. How many beers just, have you even had? Uh, like, everything's everything's glorious. <laughs> Sir, please respect the professionalism of the cast. Respect the game. <laughs> respect your <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it all. So, so uh, did we see what Nick got? Yeah, I think we, we'll find out in a second. We'll find out in a Nick's, second. Nick's really on the. So this is still Ashby's instep. Mm -hmm. um, did, did you, you do the two live from the vamp? No, I did not. Dude, Ashby's deck is just super consistent. Yeah, and that is what <laughs> everything do. Yeah. It's everything's a four of yeah. a bunch of basics. It's yeah. really good. Wow. We were talking about it earlier when he was, so he, he got uh, a, another oath. Uh, that's mm, did he, he vamp for? Oath. Don't think that's it's not where he, it's, not, no. it's not fast enough. Yeah. So because the crackback will be two, this is, six, seven, eight. This is nine on board right here. Because um, Silver Girls are three apiece for six, and then the Lord, six, and then the 1-1 one, one Spirit. Nine. Yeah. That's nine exactly. Yeah. I think, oh, so, wow, does Nick have to play the EE for zero Actually, now? no, that's eight, nine. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. With yeah. the, uh, the token. Ah, he, uh, he, he realizes. He realizes, yeah. He does have an out with EE at zero, though. <laughs> yeah, what does Ashby have in hand? Any counter magic? I think oh, he two, doesn't do it. Two lords. He'll die on the crack. Yeah, Oath right. is two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs slow. Like, and he vamped for Oath. We were thinking he might vamp for a, a Toxic Deluge or, or a Mana Source to get EE at two. Right. Yeah. Well, he already has EE at two because he has the the Orchard in the Dual Land. Right, but he, he, needs, pop it. he needs two to pop it. Yeah. yeah. I was missing that whole <laughs> line, gentlemen. Okay, yeah. yeah. He needs to pop it. All right. So he's giving man Ashby oh. another. E, e, like e on e two. two. Okay. Mm. This is just too slow, folks. Unless he... Yep, that's that's lethal. Maybe he can intimidate Ashby by glaring at him, and Ashby won't swing. Doesn't oh, seem yeah, like it's that's, happening. That's Lord. super lethal. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. So I we, think we're going to game three. Yeah. Yep. Game three. Uh, so yeah, wow. you so, can see you can see Nick realize. So there's, there's like we said, there's not a lot of lines for Merfolk in this matchup. It's, it's extremely unfavorable, but mm. that is it essentially. You know, get their keep their oath off the board, and then just get the get the fish down and, and crack mm. in, and it worked really well. Yeah, right. Um, Ashby kind of took the control mode there, right? Always had the counter magic in hand. Yeah, was ready for it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of interesting. I mean, like, I, I don't know, I. Oath is a fast combo deck for sure. Comes down as early as turn one, but yes, it's... that happened to me early. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of weird though because like I'm I'm with Merfolk, you're like by turn three or four swinging for like what five, seven, nine damage a turn, and yeah, it's I... like they play the oath. At a certain point, it's just like if you play oath, you lose here, you know. Yeah. And I think yeah, Nick realized that if he plays the oath right then and there with mana open, he's still gonna lose on the crackback. Yeah. So it might be a little bit closer. Than just trying to outrace them because yeah I don't I don't think Nick saw that line at EE on zero there but still changed the electos with right the, um, and then the uh, also yeah. uh, one game two on Ashby. with the Lord in hand for for Ashby, it wasn't gonna matter at either right point. and I do um which what was I trying to say all right so we got Nick leading us off with fetch or underground and, that's not doing um, it. Is it a mox? Yeah, it's a mox of some sort. <laughs> so he's got Pyrite Spell Bomb. So Ponder. So it looks like he brought in, he no, brought in no. Salvagers from the board. Yeah. It's kind Every, of. Yeah. Everyone loves the Bomber Man. God, you know? it's it. it, it <laughs> and, and, and Ashby. Because sometimes he doesn't run it. And so you're like, yeah. do I bring in Graveyard Hate? No, it's great. And Ashby missteps the, the Ponder. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so life totals. Ashley's yep. going to be 18 uh, versus 19. Nick's 19, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find a way to put one game two on there, so... Alright. Alright. Let's try that. There you go. Yeah. Game, bit... Just game three. Yeah, I this is game three. Mismatched Islands. <laughs> and Kate. He's such, a, he's such an asshole playing those mismatched islands. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Favorite yeah, island? Cage. Um, favorite, favorite island? Favorite island? Ooh. 
It's, either, like him, it's either revised or uh, Penis Island, right? I like them snow covered. <laughs> snow covered. I love yeah. snow covered. I think the APEC wins. I love the APEC. You got well. so, to okay. go Richie my, Rich over <laughs> here, man. My favorite. Like Guru or Summerland didn't want any of this? No, Summer Magic didn't want any of that? I'm not talking about Summer Magic. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys at home, I do own a Crawlworm Silver Magic Edition, so that's pretty good. If wow. Tim's going to ball, <laughs> it's going to be with Crawlworm. Well, I mean, I, I won about $1,000 at, at Vegas uh, playing crafts, and I wanted to spend some of my money, so I bought a $200 Magic card that's unplayable in pretty much every format. I mean, this is all just a label hey, of love it's, for it's all it's of Mr. us. Mr. Merfolk, you could have got a Sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> and then one month later I was like bomb. yeah love it that's interesting <laughs> Ashby's like let me just take a look at this real quick so you don't crack it here I, I don't think you, you could uh, if did you, you want shoot to... the curse catcher yeah if you want to get it off the board I guess so yeah. to clear the way right? I would just save it for the lord though that's the thing like I think Ashby just takes his 19 turn claw it won't hit the lord with the... It's, it's two damage or... no it's one isn't it one? It's no, it's one? two. Oh, oh, it is two. Hold on. Yeah, let's pull it up. Wait, we have a thing we can do. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. nope. We're not doing it correctly. Nope. Oh. What? Tremble pirates. So it looks normal. like Ashby has put a Trinity Nemesis on the stack and a Resolved. Hold on. Pirates, bum bum. Yeah, sack for red. Oh, it is two. Two it's damage shot creature it's player. It was one. Yeah. Sacrifice a draw card. Yeah. It cannot target that true name. No, um, but it can it can hit that curse catcher. I guess if you're trying to power through your own stuff and trying to fight through counter magic, it could be mm -hmm. useful. Yeah, and the two cages all are pretty good here. <laughs> I uh, see. Is that yeah. beast within? I see in Nick's hand. Yep, that's very funny. He loves that oh, card, and he's also got Swan Song, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are these are just gigantic liabilities. Yeah. Like the deck is nugging you for like five damage turn. You're like, all right, here's another two power. Here's another three power. Yeah, but like, when it works, it works. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that swan has got me. Yeah, <laughs> and that beast within has got me so many fucking times, yeah. man. Green is not supposed to have removal like that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. And getting in. I mean, what are you talking about, Berserk? So this is four here. <laughs> so what is like? We're off on Nick's life total for sure. Oh yeah, um, jeez. I'll I'll go down and get up. I want to say to he took four, five maybe. Say fourteen. It, it, it seems about right. We we'll, we'll, we got our spotter running to yeah. check. All right, so how do we do this? There's no approximate symbol. This keyboard. <laughs> All right, that's this fine. Key, this keyboard is beyond eighteen to fifteen. Ashley, beyond 18. useless. All right. Maybe there's like keys on the back that we're not seeing. Yeah. They hold it like a guitar. Anyway, so vamp tune of the draw for Nick. Um, it's interesting. I think you have to. Cause I mean, he has to find an oath at some point. He needs the oath, but he also needs so. Oh, we know we got he has beast within, and then he's probably gonna want something like grudge to. Try to get the cages off the board. Mm -hmm. Grudge would be really good here for yeah. sure. Yeah. I ideally he wants Grudge and Oath here. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but Vamp isn't that good. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Grab two cards. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, if they made it like you lose three lives, then it, that's balanced. Or maybe they should just make it cost eight, and you can play it for double blue. And call it Dig Through Time. <laughs> call, why was that? Why was that card ever printed? I was wondering where you're going with that. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Card is nuts. Tim, yeah. I got a question for you. Does Vintage Merfolk ever play Chalice? Mm, the one I, I haven't. Um, I think maybe in the sideboard doesn't mm. sound like too... It's just the, the deck is already... So it's playing underpowered cards that are all... Sorry to use a pun here, but all trying to swim in the same direction. And you, wow. need, you really need Not such a, a critical mass of your not-so-good cards that... Even finding one spot for a chalice is kind, kind of, of iffy, yeah. Yeah, no, I'll bet. That, that, that makes sense. Um, obviously, the plan is a lot better in Legacy where you can play the four chalices and you don't have access to recall and stuff like right. that. Right. If, if chalice was unrestricted, yeah, you make, you make, uh, you make spots for, for four. It's fine. Wow. 41. 
Okay, so Nixon here for a vamp tutor here. I think he's taking four off of this curse catcher and this true name nemesis. Did you put him down to eleven? Um, vamp tutor's gonna resolve, and he does have a beast within in hand. But if he tries to fire it off here, I think Ashby's more than happy to trade the curse catcher for it. And that's, yeah, yeah, that's, I think he does. It's definitely not to say anything about the other. Excuse me, the other cage. Um. I guess I'm pause on EE over there. Is that really where he wants to be? Oh, hold on. We have Twitch chat. Hey. The third key. Uh, yeah. No rod is everything the deck wants a chalice to do. Yeah. That that makes sense. Um, no rod is a great magic card, um, especially in vintage. Double so. Well, um, I, I would say the one exception would be um, trying to cut people off with their cantrips. So if you can land a chalice on one, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there's not going to be any uh, preordaining or. Or pondering, or brainstorming, or recalling, or yeah. recalling, or yeah. one dropping anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, Null Rod is. I, I think the three of uh, Null Rod main deck is a must. And if you if you're playing unpowered, might as well make it four. Makes sense. Yeah, uh, I think he just showed an oath. Probably shouldn't be to Ashby because he doesn't need to show it to Ashby. But right. he's definitely going to find an oath, put it on top of his deck. Um, gosh, and again, like, the Beast Within is, um, yeah, top of the pops, you're absolutely right, Cage plus True Name Nemesis, like, casting a Beast Within here just speeds up Ashby's clock by so much. Yeah, so, right there, that's three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Just gonna go for the Beast Within. Then. And this is interesting, like, if you're Ashby, do you let this resolve? I think we missed two off of uh, Vampiric yeah. Tutor, actually, so he should yeah. be at nine. Yeah. yeah. Nick's putting himself real low with this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know Nick. Nick likes to play this deck very aggressively. That is true. But, uh, all right, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look, it. I, don't, I don't play Vintage, but MTG Top 8 calls this a control deck. It's maybe a control deck with a combo finish, basically. Right. Maybe you're not supposed to play the control deck aggressively. If That's you're all. playing the card Mana Drain, you tend to be a control deck with a combo win. Unless playing. you are also playing the card standstill. I mean, that that is true, but there's always Mike Flores and who's the beatdown, right? So that's true. Knowing, knowing that you know it might be a combo deck and or a control deck in many roles, still might not be against Ashby. It's true. I think Ashby's always going to be the beatdown. There's no exactly. There's no situation in which Merfolk wants to play the control of the game. Not in vintage, at least. Well, what I want to keep what, when it wants Oath off the table. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he played it perfectly last game, right? right yeah, yeah. Get that early oath, yeah. And then uh, kind of right, right get the all fishes. the fish. Get, get, yeah, get the yeah. fish in the ponds. I'll ride say the fish to victory. one thing that's great about any time we're gonna have Nick on camera today is you see he's playing with the mat that we're giving away. He's he's got a he's playing to to not lose. Kind of, it's it's his thing right now. <laughs> it, it definitely means yeah. more to him than anyone else playing. Right. He is the only probably one with means something. the least to Ben because he already has one. Oh yeah. wow! Is Toxic Deluge is that what I'm looking at? I think it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Toxic Deluge for one is big news. So does Ashby have an answer? Paying two life, so he's gonna fall down to seven. Yeah, Ashby, that's tough. That true name was. Actually, he just paid Whoops. one. Did he, he probably just did it for one, right? I think he, I saw him. Sure. Two, the, two. the beast token's a 3-3, three, three, yeah? Yeah, right. There's no beast token, though. So there's the oh, force. Oh, the spirit? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that'll put Ashby to 17 off the force. Oh, that might be why. Is because he has a swan song? I think I think he deluged for two. Yeah. Okay. So the way he's, he's flashing his fingers like that, I think it was two. Because he knew he had swan song, so... You might have figured that one point of life doesn't matter that much. Well, and the two gets rid of the swan song token. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. Okay. Just, so Nick is actually at seven, is that correct? Right. Solid play. Good forward thinking on his part. I didn't even think of that. I was just thinking hey, about that true game. Play. Nick's a good magic player. Yeah. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he is. I mean, shit. I, I agree. Oh, wow. And so then Oath is going to come down here? <laughs> yeah. I mean, two cages. That was extremely well sequenced. Right. Yeah. But they're kind of both at the mercy of their top decks now, and I do think Nick is running better card selection. Than... Nick also has the ability to... He can just oath shit into his graveyard and not be that worried about it. Mm, because, he, because he has the Labman plan, if he can find a way to put a Labman into play, and Ashby's going to let him oath. Wow. <laughs> hardcast oh, Silvergill. Hard, yeah, Hardcast Silvergill. The way, don't, the don't way God intended. we've got the two cages. 
This is true, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think... Uh... I think Nick will still activate Oath here. You think so? It looks like he's thinking about it. Hmm. it. It looks like Ashby's trying to talk him into triggering Oath. <laughs> <laughs> and then being like, by the way, that won't work the way that he's you like, think that it will work. Nick, don't forget you have Oath. I have a creature, but there is a cage. <laughs> And it is a May ability on the on the oath. That is correct. It's, right. it's actually a relatively complicatedly worded card. Yes, it is. Yeah. It checks twice. It's a May, and it targets, which is also very yeah. relevant. Yeah, it's which is why it's I run simple if you're explaining it to someone, but if you're trying to put it in the parlance of magic rules, it's really wordy. Yeah, uh, Wiley Vintage points out uh, one of the many outs that Nick has here is oathing salvages to the top. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and he can do the same with Lab Man. It's like, if he dumps his library, he doesn't care, because... And we know he brought in the Salvagers combo, but we don't know if he's left in Lab Man. Um, assuming there's, there's at least one of the Grizzle brands. Oh, good guy Ashby pointed out the cavern. Instead of letting him try and counter the... Yeah, Ashby the being a nice guy. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. We are playing at We're All Friends REL. Yeah. <laughs> don't, I, I believe don't, be a, don't be a dick, right? We described the REL as We're All Friends, Don't Be a Dick. It's going to be three coming in. Oh, I see. Pirate Spell Bomb. It's a good one. Yep. He can pop it before damage, kill the Master of the Pearl Trident. Yeah. So Nick's going to fall down to five here. So falling to a precarious life total. Um, I did see a dismember in Ashby's hand, though. And so if he does try to go for that Oath into Ariac Salvagers. It might not end too well for him. Also, yeah. same with Lab Man. Dismember costs <laughs> yeah. 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 Combos. Dismember costs one mana, and it gets around Mental Misstep. How good is that? It's a great card. Yeah, and it looks like though Nick has opted not to take that line, whether that's uh, opting not to or not seeing it. But right, yeah. I mean, at this but, point, he's really hoping for an Ancient Grudge. Wow. What am I looking at? Two missteps. What else is in there? Four blue cards. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, hey, nice forcible, buddy. Cavern on Merfolk? Yeah, I see a swan song, and then... Yeah, that's, uh... Is that another beast with him? It looks like it might be. Wow. Okay, so maybe he's not in that bad of a situation. I hope every time he casts it, he says, now I am in beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we get audio on this? Can we get audio? <laughs> yeah. He's gotta pass it back. He's kind of at the mercy of... Just Ashby yeah. at this point coming in with a two-turn clock. <laughs> Cavern shining in vintage right now. <laughs> yeah. To answer your question, uh, just putting a mic down there is one of the lazy ways to make sure that your life totals are always right. Wow. That's very correct. Hey, so, man, uh, that's you piece of. Light on? No. It... No. 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 We're good. We're good. The light actually burns my skin. I'm nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, Beast within coming in. I can't imagine sitting. Oh. Wow, he he's hitting within his own thing. What did he? What did he beast within there? His own land, I believe. He had five mana available, maybe. Now yeah. Nick is in fucking yeah. beast mode. I told you. Yeah. Wow, and so it's gonna be just member coming in, targeting the beast token. Ashby's gonna pay yeah. four life for that as part of the casting cost, and then now Nick has the option of casting a forcible here, pitching a mental misstep. Misstep pretty weak against Merfolk too. Right, and Cavernous Souls. I think you. I think you go for it. If that beast token beast survives, you stabilize. Are we in game three here? Yeah, we are in game three. Uh, is, there, is there a place to put that on the stream? I mean, uh, a lot of times, just I'll put the life total and put like WW on both sides or something. Oh. Uh, whatever you're into. This is a very amateur operation. Nope. We're talking we about get like better every time, though. WLLW or something. There you go. So they should have one win. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I like that. Um, yeah, if I'm Nick, I force here. You stabilize the board. Kind of just hope Ashby doesn't draw anything, but if you let this go, you're dead next turn. Kind of hope is my favorite thing to do in Vintage. <laughs> I just played, I'm playing five color stacks, and I just played against Eldrazi, and kind of hope was pretty much <laughs> the thesis statement of that game. <laughs> How'd your last one go? Uh, I staxed him. Oh, nice. I staxed him, he Eldrazi'd yeah. me, I staxed him. <laughs> so is that uh, draw... Draw, play, draw. Or, you know, play, draw, play. What are you saying? <laughs> draw, play. Draw, 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 draw. Yes. Tim, are you drunk? 
Now, it's only 3.45. I mean, it's dark outside, but it is only 3.45. <laughs> you guys, am I talking out of my ass? Do I, was there a Force of Will in Nick's hand? I thought there was. It might have just been a swan song? I think that's what that is. That might have just been a swan song. I might have mistaken it for a Force. And... Yeah, and there's the misstep on the swan song. Uh... Very cool. Wow. Wow, that's big. And Nick can actually fight back for those, luckily, but I don't know. That's going to cost him the Mightily. last couple cards in his hand. Yeah. So I think we're looking at a swan song on top of the oath there, and then targeting the dismember, and then Ashby's going to attempt to misstep the swan song. So that card with the glare on it is the swan song for you guys. I believe there. so, yeah. And he... I don't know. If he's making that play, I might have missed seeing the force will. There might not just be one in his hand at all. It's two missteps, baby. <laughs> it's too good for legacy. It's not good enough for vintage. No, that's not true. It's more than good enough for vintage. It's not good enough here. Yeah, that's tough. I think you have to you have to orchard and uh, or... to speak to how tough it is. You see Nick with the head rubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna hard cast a mental misstep to fight back. Pan oh. retail making mental misstep be a fair card <laughs> <laughs> and giving a creature yeah. card too. So Ashby's gonna get another spirit token, which is very relevant at this point. Very. Even, yeah, even if the dismember gets countered, he's coming in for one. It's gonna take Nick to four. Yeah. Then back down to three. By the way, the four. thing I haven't heard y'all mention yet is uh, we're at three and a half minutes left. Yeah. Oh, the swan song, yeah. And it, it might be time to start getting aggressive now. I mean, I don't they know. They might not know that. What, what kind of uh, extension have y'all given them for moving? 60 seconds? We didn't give them any. Oh! Uh, <laughs> two minutes. Ashby follows up with a true name. I think this one's going to be over in a short yeah, order. Yeah, Yeah, with that true name and the uh, Swan Song token, I can't see this one. Nick is actually at four. I do believe one of those got through. One of the spirit tokens. So, it's gonna be lights out for Nick. What are we? What are we looking yeah. for here? Another toxic deluge, maybe. He can't deluge for much. He doesn't have. Ashby doesn't have lords out, so he does. He is able to get away with a low deluge. Yeah. But I mean, he goes what, one. He goes to one, and Ashby gets something, and then he loses. Maybe he just goes to I guess, two. You know, he, can, yeah. he can go to yeah. two. He can go yeah. to two here. Yeah. But two's rough. You can't miss up when you're at two. Well, you you legally can miss up. So now Nick is doing what he's we've been talking oath, about. He's yeah. gonna oath here. Mm. Yeah, I still don't think it's good enough. Force Imperial Force. I think a couple turns ago it might have been better. Gemstone right. Mine. Uh, that's an oath. A fetch. A fetch. Not sure. Yogs will fetch. Misstep, fetch, lotus, preordain, so swan song, misstep, yeah, preordain, and there it is. Salvagers will go to the top of the deck, and he's got both spell bomb and lotus in the yard, but not enough mana to cast whoa, whoa. it. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, whoa! Yeah, yeah go downstairs. Go downstairs. <laughs> well, we're so close to the action, so close to the operation. So what's going on? Did he put the the salvagers? Yeah, I think he exiled it. There you go. Mm. But then he drew a card off of the I see what's right. going on. Okay. Make sure. Wait, does Nick? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so the pre is going to go on top. He's going to draw the salvagers for the turn. Yeah, that's and... what's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah, and okay. I do, I do think that's it for him. Unfortunately, that's even if he hard casts that salvagers, he doesn't have enough to activate. The ability to grab the Black Lotus. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Right. And that's, that's it. Game. He's going to extend the hand. Ashby's going to take this one two and one. Congratulations to the underdog here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Purple. <laughs> Getting there, man. I'm glad we ran down there and explained that when, uh, when it really didn't fucking matter. <laughs> Turns out it didn't matter. Yeah. What happened? I mean, they, they missed yeah, yeah. Cage Oath interaction with the draw. Uh, okay. And so I think he, like, caged a creature, or he oathed the creature and then, like, exiled it instead of leaving it on top of the library. Oh, okay. Yeah. He exiled it instead of leaving it. Because yeah. you leave it, it goes on the top. Oh, okay. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, it absolutely that, is. That was... <laughs> yeah. Some, yeah. That was some top-tier magic. Um, <laughs> yeah. Update. Oh, what do we got? Uh, this is us. Yep, you, you get to see our beautiful faces. Hold <laughs> on. Because there's so many things going on. Mm. Uh, one thing, we, we have had some complaints. God damn, there are so many fucking 
things up on our goddamn screen right now. Sam is our tech wizard. We're yep. very grateful to have him here. Uh, Cavern on Craven is a real thing. <laughs> um, so one of the things, we've, we've got some complaints that the quality has been bad. Uh, so we are going to drop off for a few minutes to adjust that. We're going to lower the frame rate just to make sure that you can constantly see us at a low frame rate instead of seeing us intermittently at a high frame rate. Uh, we're also going to pair round three, round four, round four, drink some beers, and we'll be back about 15 minutes or so. Yes, this is a slick shirt. Uh, I didn't have a Goyf shirt that was clean. Also, I immediately stained it as soon as I got here. Well played. So uh, we'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.